Ooh, look who's first. Welcome in. Hello! Hello, hello! Hold on! Bo is ATF! Oh gosh. Um. I forgot one thing. Hold on. Oh! I forgot to turn my light on. Mmm. Hello! How is everyone? I know this is my random once in a blue moon Thursday stream. Welcome in, Bo! Welcome in, Ray. Welcome in, Leokai. If Kimmy doesn't make a, a second, I will ban myself? Slow as motherfucker today, I am. Let's go. Hello, hello, hello. Um, remember. Thursdays are our super chill days. Um, if we do streams, which obviously we're doing one right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to make a second. Maybe even a third. Mug! Okay, let's go! <laughs> okay, let's go. How are you doing, Mug? <laughs> um okay how do i make i forgot how to make a redeem second what the dog doing mm. what is the dog doing oh he's right here Ugh. Licking my fingers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mutant, hello. Um, doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. As if you heard the blurp. Hi, Bentley. <laughs> Oh, the, the like the with the dog doing <laughs> the children of Bentley better late than never two there we go we have a we have a first and a second but the second doesn't have a uh... <gasps> no I messed it up <laughs> Hold on, I got you can't all do you can't all be second. <laughs> yeah, blurt played then like one second later Bentley walks in. Oh no, you didn't make a single use. I didn't. I didn't. Um Redemptions per stream one. Everybody's second. Everybody is second huh? today. <laughs> I don't have a 
Like a blurp associated with it, though. I tried, yeah. Um, limit redemptions per stream. One. Okay, good. Um, we need to find a blurp for that, I feel like. Because I'm, yeah, I have a powered by blurp is the description. Okay, that's how I did that one. Limit. Okay. Okay, okay. We're good now. So on the agenda today, um, since this is our kind of like random one-off stream that happens periodically, um, it is leap year day. The random day that doesn't happen every, every year. Woo! Happy leap year day! Um, <laughs> and then also, it's the last day of Black History Month. Um, so, I do have a game that I meant to play a couple weeks back. Um, and then I was too tired. Because it was going to be after an emote drawing stream, but I was too tired. So, I decided, you know what, maybe it's better that we do it before the emote drawing stream. And then we'll do art stuff after. Um, so we're gonna do it out to home. It's a, I think it's about like an hour-ish long game, maybe hour and a half. Um, so we'll get it done in one session. Um, one of my favorites. One of my friends turned seven today. Well, thirty-five. <laughs> seven. Oh my gosh, seven years old. Such a young, young soul. People who are born on leap year live for a very long time. Either that or they live way back in time when people didn't live very long. Uh, okay, let's go lurk. Thanks for the lurk, monk. Are you coming up here or not? Come on. He's like creeping underneath the desk here. Like literally like right here. <laughs> Anyways. Um... Okay, let's see if I can get... B Bentley, what are you doing? Come on. Come on. <laughs> he just... He's finding ways now to get in my lap. And then he's being aggressive. Like, I don't understand. Why are we so aggressive? Why? Why? God, gross. <laughs> what? Feisty baby. Okay. It's because we haven't gone to the dog park in a while, and I should not have said that word. Because <laughs> now he wants to go. <laughs> Bentley's being sussy. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get steam up. Mom. I think this is, I don't remember if this is a game that actually has, um, like, what do you call it, voiceover or whatever, so I might have to do a lot of reading. <laughs> um, if that, if I have to do a lot of reading, the art part afterwards might end up being really short. <laughs> um, okay. Let us see here. Bam, 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 bam. You having a hard time laying in my lap? There you go. Oh gosh, it starts already. Where is the game? Hold on, my OBS is being weird. Um, um. We don't need steam. We need dots home. Um, it doesn't seem to be recognizing this game. LTX, hello. Hmm. 
I think you guys can hear the the game music too. It doesn't seem to want to capture this game. So I think I have to um do window capture maybe. That's home. Yeah, there we go. Okay. How's everybody's uh Thursday going? <gasps> Taco truck, hello. Mm. How how are you doing? Okay, I think that should work. Boop. Bum, bum. That's home. Guess who's off till Monday? You are doing great now because you're off till Monday. You got a long weekend. Mm. Look at how much of a potato he looks like. Tired waiting out these last 15 minutes till I can go home. You're almost ready to go home. Almost time for home. Okay. That's home. How you doing, Leo guy? New game. <clears throat> I need to get home. Oh, what do I do? So we got green light theater, throwback Thursdays, now showing the Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. Based Bentley. <laughs> um, I'm supposed to be off till um till Wednesday after tonight. Oh, nice. That's a long time, but I'm going in for extra time. Oh no, not too bad. Thanks. Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> Put there we go. Okay, so I guess we're trying to find our home, wherever that is. Mm, oh, there's a paper. Uh, today's newspaper, the one, the three, thirteen scoop. Look, his expressions are perfect. Who <laughs> Bentley's? <laughs> Uh, what's in store for the city? Environmental future. Detroit is changing, whether we like it or not. My neighborhood used to be dead quiet with almost nothing going on. I swear it was like no one was here, but once business started coming back and folks started fixing up homes, my block came to life again, says Torrell Anderson. Or Torrell Anderson, a longtime Detroit resident. Yeah, well, it's true that Anderson's neighborhood has seen a boost in new business from upscale coffee shops to even the city's first tiki bar. This change hasn't been universal across the Motor City, particularly when it comes to in, um, enacting environmental justice for all. Daphne DeRosha, is that how you say that? Who lives northwest of Anderson's neighborhood has this to say. I live in one of the most polluted areas of the city, right next door to one of the most uh, gentrified. While others worry about where they'll get their morning coffee, I'm worried about if the air levels are too ha hazardous for me to go outside on my porch any given day. One thing all city residents need to realize, DeRosha argues, is that the city's industrialized, industrialized backbone and lacking infrastructure hurts us all. But who most directly impacts depending on proximity, race, and place. There isn't one person in my family without asthma, DeRosha says. Hey, listen. Um, if I had... Oh my god, what the heck? Sorry, thank you so much for the hey listen. Um, I don't know what's happening. Maybe if I do... Hold on. Thank you for that. Um, um, um. Give me a second. Game capture. Now. There we go. 
I think I had to actually start playing for it to actually register the game because it wasn't registering it at first. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. First, Penisle, you have first. <laughs> Should I be able to see something besides the home page? I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I asked to get extra time though, so it's not. Um, the only thing you guys missed was like the beginning. She was near a, a broken down movie theater. And then we walked to the screen and I looked at the paper and I've just been reading this paper. So you really didn't miss much at all. Um, I asked to get extra time though. So it's not an oh no. Okay, I got stuff I want to get done. And I need money. So I'm going to be working a lot of overtime coming up. Well, that's good. But sucks to work a lot. Are you just reading something random? No, I'm so sorry. That's what I'm wondering. I see title screen. It's a game in the imagination. <laughs> All I can see is the title screen. I'm so sorry. Same thing that happens to me when I play emulator. It's so annoying. Yeah, like it just doesn't register the game. So I had to go on window mode. And then the window mode just showed this title screen, I guess. And then now I went back to game capture and it registered. So I don't know. It was weird. That's the first time I've effectively used the Navi blurb. I honestly, like, I I feel like I should put a thing with the Navi blurb saying, like, use this if I need to look at chat. And otherwise don't use it. Because I think that's a great thing to use if I actually need to look at you guys. Um, but if it gets, like, used a lot or spammed or whatever, like, I kind of, like, might be like, meh. Um, uh, noted. <laughs> I mean, basically, it's like, hey, listen. Hey, look at me. Hey, listen. Hey, listen to me. Such a cutie. Okay. Um, where am I? DeRosha argues that the city's industrialized backbone and lacking infrastructure hurts us all, but who it most directly impacts depends on proximity, race, and place. There isn't one person in my family without asthma, DeRosha says, and if I had known that fate was, uh predetermined for us, I would have never lived here. Um. Oh, wait. Can I... I can just move it? Okay. What do I do with it? I don't know what to do with it now. Back? Okay. I don't know. Is this our home? I guess so. Ugh, are you kidding me? I swear I left this door unlocked. Jeez, Grandma. Can't keep a door open for nothing around here. Now I gotta find the right key. The door is locked. That one's not working. That one works. Grandma, why'd you lock the door? I was only gone for a minute. It's not even dark yet. Dorothea, now you know an unlocked door is just an open invitation for trouble. I've lived here long enough to know the neighborhood's changing. Whatever you say, Grandma. Hmm. I wonder what those newspapers are- or what those papers are for. Um... Talk to Grandma. Could you look at those papers for me? Speaking of changes, I keep seeing those cash for keys uh, flyers everywhere on this block. Cash for keys flyer. Oh no, it sounds like they're trying to buy up the homes. You're telling me some of them even have to uh, have the nerve to call me. For every one block, three more replace them. Do you ever think about selling the house? Sometimes, but where else would I go? Somewhere who whose streets I don't know. Oh, what is this game? It's called Dot's Home. Um, and the little bit of research that I did about this game, it's gonna be basically taking us through her history and what she's experienced um, like growing up in Detroit. Um, and then it also, this is her granddaughter. Um, so she's gonna kind of like well i think she's gonna see her grandma's past and history and stuff and like growing up in detroit um i don't know exactly like what time period 
uh, years wise, but it's basically going to kind of show us some some things that we should all be aware of, I think. <laughs> I thought it would be a great game to play for Black History Month. Mm. But yeah, okay. Um, I've started over too many times in my life and I'm too old to do it again. Love it, yeah! I thought old was a cuss word. <laughs> if only it comes from you. <laughs> she can't call her grandma old. Right. <laughs> yeah, millenniums. <laughs> Millennials, grandma. Millenni whatevers. Have no idea what we went through back in the day. Before we came up here from South Carolina, your grandfather and I were sharecroppers. We busted our backs on a farm every day while the white folks who owned the land charged us more for rent than they paid us for our crops. Back in my day, we may not have been slaves, but if you ask me, it wasn't too much different. That's why when Carl got a letter from his cousin Estus... Es Estuis up here about some good paying work at the auto factory. We packed our bags, paid our debts, not a one way bus ticket, or got a one way bus ticket to Detroit and never looked back. I swear you tell me this story about once a week. That's cause I need to remind you where you come from. MVP Marcos! Hello! How are you? How are you today? I, I wouldn't have it any other way, Grandma. Wait, is Carlos here right now? Mm-hmm. Georgia dropped him off when you were out at the corner store. Took you long enough. Ooh, you throwing some shade? How about you bring... Or how about you go get him and bring him upstairs? Dinner's about ready. Fine, but when he gets mad at me for interrupting his sup Supreme Bash Bros. Supreme Bash Bros. Battle, I'm blaming you. <laughs> what? 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 Why are you spicy? Why are you spicy? Marcos, what's wrong with you? Oh, so that's how you- oh, I missed the- that. so that's how we're playing tonight. I just heard the note- I just read note at first, I missed the, the- that part. I was gonna be like, are you okay? Something wrong? <laughs> but is something okay? Bentley, why are you being feisty? Huh? Do you not want to sit in my lap? You crawled up in it. You talk like I know what any of these words mean. Going downstairs, I guess. Supreme Bash Bros! Yo, Squirt. Ugh, how am I gonna do this voice? <clears throat> Five more minutes! Nope, Grandma wants you upstairs now. Plus, you know this place upsets your asthma. If you were a cool aunt, you'd let me stay down here a few minutes, few more minutes. Too bad for you, I'm your only aunt. Which automatically makes me your, the cool aunt. You're no fun, Auntie Dorothea. No, nope, none of that. To you and everyone else, it's dot. D-O-T. Period. Well, Gram- Well, Grandma calls you your full name. Yeah, because when- uh, have I ever been able to stop Grandma from doing anything? Now, come on. Please, Dot. Just five more mi Just a few more minutes. I just want to say five more minutes. Okay. You are being annoying. You are. Being really annoying. You keep licking the blanket and it's really annoying. <laughs> Gross. 
Gross. Okay. Fine, but the countdown starts now. No way I'm starving. Are we gonna be cool, Aunt? No, he's a perfect angel. I mean, he is a, a cutie baby. But he's being feisty. And I ate chips a little bit ago, so he's like licking up all the chip dust off of the blanket I have on. Spicy cutie tonight. He is spicy. Look at it. He keeps biting me. <laughs> oh. Okay. The teeths. Look at it. He's got a tooth showing. Sometimes my lip or sometimes my teeths get stuck on my lips. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and he got the two furs. Okay. Um, or is it sometimes my lips get stuck on my teeth? You think it's funny, but I can't help it. Or something like, how does that song go? I don't remember. Go. 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 Thank you. Okay, I gotta like rotate this blanket because I don't want to put my hand down and feel wetness. <laughs> like, um, okay. I guess we're gonna be cool it and give a countdown. Fine, but the countdown starts now. Because that can give us some time to like search around, I think. Grandma keeps important documents in here. I'm not allowed in. Mmm. Interesting. So anything else we can click on? It's one of the it's one of Carlos's favorite games, Supreme Bash Bros. Featuring famous characters such as Kerbo and Iron Knight. <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs. What do we got here? Can we go like up upstairs? Uh oh, no. Wow, the ceiling's leaking again. Can we go? We can go in here. I like we're just searching everywhere. Um Okay, that just like does that. Can't really do much. Oh wait, there's laundry? Look like I could click on this something. I could click on something. Oh, I guess it was just that. Mmm. Uh, I guess I can't click on anything else up here. Kitchen? Dinner's not ready yet, but I'm starving. The photo's on the fridge. We get it. You trapped pine trees from palm trees, mom and dad. Or you traded pine trees for palm trees, mom and dad. Florida! You know who's from Florida? Uh, a postcard from Florida. I swear mom and dad send one every year. I should plan a trip to visit them at some point. Mm, my undergrad graduation, I definitely heard grandmas cheer the loudest in that stadium. I know the whole education department was shook. Go Warriors! Grandma loves these types of inspirational quotes. I think they're kind of cheesy, but for some reason I don't mind this one that much. The person you needed when you were younger. Or be the person you needed when you were younger. <laughs> That's a good one. We got Florida Magnet. Can't believe it's been three years since mom and dad moved to the Sunshine State. No, you! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Guess I should have taken mom to, uh, at her word when she said she was. This was her last winter year here. Got a little heart magnet. I think Carlos added this one when he was little. Well, little er. Georgia and Alma always point it out whenever they stop by. Interesting. Nothing else, like, specifically. Oh, this must be dinner. It's grandma's world famous mac and cheese! Smells great! Ooh, mac and cheese. Okay, let's go get uh, our nephew. Cheese! 
shaking my head. Floridians. The Floridians. How are you doing, Marcos? You didn't... You, you... <laughs> okay, time's up. But it hasn't been five minutes yet. Tough beans, bud. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna get some mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese. Smells like grandma's world famous mac and cheese in here. Don't touch. It's cooling down right now. Cooling down? You mean we gotta wait before we can even eat? I could have finished my game. All right, how you doing? Doing good, doing good. Uh, why, why you want to hang out in the only place where mold grows on the walls beyond, is beyond me? Wait, what? Glad Salem is back? Oh, my Salem shirt. <laughs> I haven't been wearing enough Salem clothes. Um, why you want to hang out in the only place where mold grows on the walls is beyond me? The fact that she's saying that mold grows here? The rest of the house is for you and grandma. The basement is a place that's just for me. Oh, the basement is where the where it grows. Lord, I guess they are kidding when you say history repeats itself. You sound like Hank back when he moved out in 86. I'm pretty sure a flair dr for dramatics is a family trait. Knock, knock, knock. Someone's at the door. Are you expecting anyone, Grandma? Heck no! Not without a call first! <laughs> Maybe it's that person Dot's been secretly texting all month. Uh, shut it, you. Whoever it is, I know they better stop banging on my darn door. Don't worry, I'll get it. Wait. Oh, she went wherever the click. You're at the door, open up. Okay, Marcos, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you? Who said you could just walk in? Ah, uh, hello, miss. Sorry about the sudden intrusion. But as I always say, an open door is an open invitation for new opportunities. That's a terrible saying. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, sir, I'm what? I guess if you said you were, that was you. Um... Uh, no, that would be my grandmother, but you can talk to me. I see. Well, my name is Michael H. Murphy III, and I represent a company called Hope Equity. We're investing heavily in bringing back this neighborhood, and we're willing to give you straight cash for the keys to this. At, at, uh, let, let me save you some time. I've seen the flyers. We're not interested. But, 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 this golden opportunity, we're paying above market price value for distressed homes and revitalizing. Do we look distressed to you? How can you bring back, how can you bring back a neighborhood that never went anywhere? Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend, Miss Hawkins. If you let me explain, I'm sure your grandmother will come to understand. Uh, you mean what you said, and so did I. We're not interested. Bye. <laughs> Good riddance. Slam the door in Murphy's face. Down, I, damn, I seem extremely cool. <laughs> nah. Thanks for the super cool voice, Kimmy. I tried. <laughs> I tried to give some, like, male, like, I don't know some deeper voice. I'm not good at like deeper voices. Um, or at least I don't think I <laughs> Can you believe that dude walking up on us like that? He's lucky, lucky I didn't You think it's true what he said? That they're paying more than it's worth in, ca and in cash? Don't tell me you're actually considering this. I'm just th thinking we could really use that money. I'm not getting any younger these days. Uh, or, I'm not getting any younger and these bills only seem to grow every year. Absolutely amazing. MVP Marcos A. The, 
The ill? The third. A the third. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was ill, like capital I, ca lowercase L L. <laughs> Anyways. I like the illest. No, I'm just kidding. That was terrible. Terrible joke. <clears throat> Fixing that water leak from last year almost put me out of my own savings. I thought you said you couldn't bear to start over again. Between Hank down in Florida and your sister Georgia, I'm sure I could find a place close to home. I thought this was home. Okay, I'm going upstairs. You okay? I bet Grandma's mac and cheese will cheer you up. This conversation made me lose my appetite. Y'all can go ahead and, uh, without me. Uh, oh. I, like, click away to, like, get rid of the text, but then it's, like, makes her walk, and I think that's where she's supposed to go, but then I realize it's just me clicking. Um, I guess this is my bedroom. Now can I, like... Or do I go to the bed? Property taxes, repairs fees, electric bills. I get that we need the money to pay bills, but do we really have to give up the house to get it? Unrealistic to Florida, I don't hear random beeping from traffic. <laughs> what, you hear random beeping from tra traffic all the time in Florida? But if we stay, does this mean we just have to keep struggling forever? Jeez, I'm giving myself- Oh wait, no! They're in Detroit! They're not in Florida. They're in Detroit. That- Like, this is supposed to be in Detroit, Michigan. But they're, um, I guess her... What did they say? Sister? Or mom? I don't know. No, their mom and dad or something is in, um, Florida. Uh, jeez, I'm giving myself a headache. Maybe if I take a nap, I'll wake up with a clearer head. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Detroit. <clears throat> Makes more sense. <laughs> an open door is an invitation. I want a place that's just for me. New opportunities. Because when have we ever been able to stop Grandma from doing anything? That was her dreams? That was some nap. At least my headache is gone. What, what does this do? It's just, I just moving the thing back and forth. I don't know if I need to ever take anything out of there. Uh, my door is locked from the outside? Maybe one of my keys will open it. Ooh, wait a minute. Why is this key glowing? Does it want me to use it on this door? Well, here goes nothing. Oh no, magic! Uh, Magic Hallway! Visit the Magic Hallway for the first time! Whoa, we got like crazy mirrors. Here we go! What the? Just how long was I asleep for? And who uh, redecorated this place? Minimalism is so not grandma's style. Oh, I must have missed you coming in. You again? I don't believe we've met. You're here from the open house, yes? You're here for the open house, yes? How do you like the upstairs so far? Open house? What are you even talking about? A three-bedroom, two-bath wonder. Great amount of space for a family. If you and your husband are looking to start... Is he here with you? I'd be happy to chat with him man to man about the details. You must be confused. This house isn't open. It certainly is, miss. Why don't you continue to look around? Better be quick with your decision, though. You're not the only one looking. Uh, I need to find Grandma and find out, find out what the heck is going on. Uh, I guess we're going down. Dang, there's like nothing here. Whoa! These floorboards look really weak. Um, can we go downstairs? This door is closed. Okay. Do you think we're making the right decision, Carl? 
What if things here are just as bad as they were at the farm? Even if things were bad here, I don't think they'd get much worse than what we left behind in Effingham. Wait, why are those two- why are these voices so familiar? Wait a minute. Grandma? Grandpa? Huh? Grandma? I ain't nobody's grandma. Okay, I've seen this happen in movies. Just gotta play cool. Don't tell me you've got- you have your eye on this place, too. No, no, this home is yours. I, uh, live in the neighborhood and just decided to pop in. Oh, a neighbor. Well, it's nice to meet you, miss. Dot, short for Dorothea. My grandmother named me. What a beautiful name. Your grandmother has good taste. Name's Carl, Carl Hawkins. And this is here is my wife, Mavis Hawkins. Since you're from the neighborhood, can you tell us what it's like here, Dorothea? Well, uh, things are a bit different now, but we always look out for each other over here. It's terrible, don't come here. <laughs> I know everyone's name on the block and can count on them to have my back when I need it. Well, I'll take that as just the answer I needed. Me too. Sounds like the perfect place for us to settle down. Hopefully this Murth Murphy fellow will stick to his word. This is the first house we've looked at all week that hasn't turned us away just for being colored. I assure you that I am happy to work with your people, Mr. Hawkins. Your people? What do you mean, your people? Uh, dot. Blink once if you're in distress. Bum! With your people. Gas, the same guy. Yeah, I guess it's the same guy. Come on, Marcos. Why, well, I was just telling the young lady over there that it's the perfect home to start a family. I thought you said you were just passing through. I swear, I'm not interested in this place. No way, this house seems perfect for you both. Oh no. I mean, I guess they're both saying the same thing, right? I feel like this one is like telling them, get it! And this one's like, ah, uh, yeah, it's like the same thing. We'll just go with this. No way, this house seems perfect for the both of you. What a shame. Miss Hawkins, why don't you think about all the delicious meals you could cook in this fabulous kitchen? While your husband and I talk business in the living room. But... Any business of my husband's is mine, too. Go, Grandma. <laughs> She's right. We'll hear what you have to say together. If you insist, I should go. Oh, nice. I'm misogynistic, too, in this game, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Did you say you're employed at the auto factory? Well, this is... Uh, I don't remember if you came in when I explained about this game or not, but basically, this one, this person is uh, her grandpa, and the other lady is her grandma, and she, like... I mean, you saw that we went through time, basically. But, like, she's going through, and she's gonna see historical things that have happened in like Detroit area to like see how her grandma went through life um so it's kind of like a little eye opener for some people I think gotta hit all the squares <laughs> no sir not yet I'll be going down there tomorrow to see about the job hmm there's always a catch with dealing with you people lucky for you this is a uh <laughs> Necro neighborhood on the rise. Uh, I can make it easy for you to buy your dream home with a contract for deed where you just make monthly payments. What the fuck is my issue? I know, right? I'd make a decision quick if I were you. I'm gonna lose my mind if I hear another word. I need some air. I'm gonna take a walk and see how to get out of here. Um, can I- I still can't open this, can I? No. Oh, this is my little purse. It's for sale! It's weird seeing this house for sale like this. Kick the sign, make fun of the sign, ignore the sign. <laughs> what should we do? I 
I was thinking kick it too. <laughs> Die! Bad sign kick that we got an achievement that says bad sign kick this for sale sign. <laughs> um, okay. So I guess we're just kind of like looking around. Please be civilized! No. If you're gonna steal my grandma's home- Well, I guess we're technically giving the home to grandma, so... Oh, this is- we should probably- in a snotty voice. Please be civilized. Terrible. Okay, so this is 1959. June 2nd, 1959, the Detroit Daily Post. Your neighborhood could be next. Look. Every house marked X, now occupied by Negroes. I'm broad-minded, said one homeowner when Negroes moved onto his block. But a short time later, he panicked and sold his home at a loss. In today's post, you'll read how speculators for racial change... Wait. And sold his house at a loss. In today's post, you'll read how speculators for racial change, how they use uh, vicious tactics to force out the whites, and how one spectacular, or one sp speculator, speculator, brags that he could bust your block in no time at all. We talked to one local Detroit blockbuster about the price of integration and how he has no plans of stopping. I make my money, quite a lot of it, in incidentally three ways. Uh, by beating down the prices I pay the white owners, by simulating their fears of what is to come, by selling to the eager Negroes at inflated prices, and by financing these purchases at what amounts to a very high rate of interest. Despite this, the blockbuster, who wished to remain anonymous, but provided his initials MM, MM, said his plans of play playing too close to the color line is actually a benefit to whites, not the Negroes moving in. I bet that's a real newspaper clip. I probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Marcos Marcos. MVP Marcos. Because your VP is in lowercase. Um, so I guess I go this way. So this is what we saw at the very beginning before I started the game. But all of this, the letters were all like um, falling off and stuff. Wow, this is one heck of a dream. Who knew I could dream up something so detailed? And historically accurate. The theater is still open. Green light theater now showing imitation of light. Don't you believe in ch chasing rainbows? I thought that was an O at first. I was like, Chasino? <laughs> like, huh? They can't know about me like that? Miss, miss. Oh, it's you. You had me chasing you for nearly two blocks. If I was you, I wouldn't go any further. The neighborhood beyond this point is not for your kind. How about you come back with me to the open house? Wouldn't you want to? You wouldn't want you to get in trouble now, okay? I can I can find my own way back. Please, I insist. No, I insist. Yeah, well, you're a butthead. Okay. I guess we go back and then talk to her grandparents that are not her grandparents because technically she's not born yet. <laughs> Mavi, I don't trust him. But this just sounds like the raw deal we had with old man Markin and his farm back home. I know money's tight, but I can, I can do my sewing on the side to help out. We could really make this a home ours, even if we just have to make things work. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Anyone ever tell you that you're the- that you're one weird gal? <laughs> I'm starting to think so myself. Any luck with the decision? We want the house, but Murphy fella- but that Murphy fella is just making us choose between a contract for deed or renting the place. Well, what's the difference? 
The way he tells it, we're just, we'll, we'd just be responsible for making regular payments on the house until the balance is paid off. And once the balance is paid off, the house is ours, free and clear. Only thing is, if we, missed a, if we miss a payment, then we're back to square one and we could lose the house. Never mind the fact that it could take us between 5 to 50 years to pay off the house in the first place. 50 years? I just wish we could get a loan, as if the bank would ever even let us in the door. That's sad. Maybe we should find a place to rent nearby until money isn't so tight. Seems legit. Good to do. Man! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for three months sub! What the heck? Three months and many more. That's my amazing sweet game. You're too nice. What are you doing? How are you doing, man? Um, oh my gosh, I don't even have mix and mod up. Oh god. There we go. I gotta get it up. You reminded me I don't have mix and mod up. Um, I'm tired of renting, Carl. We need to put down roots. This is the only place that'll even take our money, and y'all heard what the man said. If we don't take it now, we'll lose our chance. Poor Mix It Up is forgotten again. I forget it all the time. I think I kept it up for a long time at one point, just so that it was just up, and if I forgot, it was still there already. Uh, can't... They can't know about me like that. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there's the mark was. I was making sure I didn't miss anything. Um, Plus, if there's other families like us on the block, we won't be alone here. Dorothea, what do you think we should do? Got a Massachusetts shirt on. <laughs> yeah, Marcos was like, oh, yeah, you got the Salem shirt. Um... Better make it quick. Time is ticking. I'm certain you two can make a great home here. Are we renting or buying? I think we're making up the decision for the future. In a way. Some of the stuff was like... It's basically saying the same thing. But I feel like this one... Like, I think it's rent... I think this is rent to buy. And then that's like... I don't know. Which one benefits me? I think... Honestly, I think either one. Because, like... You're st it's still getting money. Um... I mean... Good. <laughs> That's not an answer! I feel like buying is, like... Especially the payments for buying are going to risk them missing a payment. But I think, does that matter either way? Like, I feel like even renting, it still puts them at risk if they miss a payment. But it's better to risk it. I mean, like, you own it. I think it's better to own. I, like, I part of me kicks myself in the butt for renting. I should have tried to buy a house instead of renting when I first like moved out even though I definitely didn't have money for that yeah not buying would be worse yeah bye choice will be remembered um but it's not like you can go back to South Carolina you should buy this place now because it's the best you can do at the moment even though the terms do seem tricky I think you're right like I said before I don't know why but I trust you yeah well, I don't, but I trust Ma Mavi, so I'll go with what you say. Wonderful, Mr. Hawkins. If you follow me, I have some paperwork for you to sign. I hope it works out for you both, Grant, uh, Miss Mavis. I know we're about to be neighbors, but I swear you already seem like family. Also, why is Grandpa fighting? <laughs> Look at my amazing figure, my confidence stance, my charismatic smile. Um, oh wait. But you- but you're like trying to take advantage of them. Would you look at that? I seem to have misplaced my pocketbook. Uh, let me go look around and see if I can find it. Carl is right. You are one weird gal. <laughs> 
One weird go. I shouldn't go in there. Can we go in here? Oh, the door's closed. Still creaky floorboards. Go up. Maybe we go back to the bedroom. No, it's <laughs> simply doing my job. Maybe I can use this weird key again. Using the weird key. Here's hoping I'm not as out of place this time. Time travel! Let's go back and see what has happened. Zoom! This has to be a dream. I should sleep again. Oh, look at this stack of papers. Great, even more bills. No. So wait, were they renting then instead of buying back in the day? It's no use, I can't fall asleep. Things still feel weird. Maybe if I just go about my day, things will go back to normal. Oh no, what have we done? It's locked again? I guess we'll use that glowing key. We have two keys that we haven't used yet. Well, here goes nothing. Oof. Here we go. What year are we in now? Another win for me? Why is it another win for you? Well, this place is different. I could use some fresh or I could use some fresh pa paint and maybe a Wait, is that a mouse? Ah! Nineteen ninety two So what we jumped like almost forty years? Cause it was like fifty something, right? The City View Vanguard I was born a year uh, before this. Urban renewal or urban removal. The redevelopment of public housing in Detroit could displace thousands. The Brewer Davidson housing projects were first dedicated in 1935 and finally completed in 1955. Originally built to house almost 10,000 residents across six 14-story high-rises, two six-story low-rise towers, and several apartment rows. Despite the city's consistent decline in population, the projects are still home to some 6,500 re remaining residents, most of them black and 66% of them minors or young adults. And they are all at risk of losing their homes as the city plans to demolish the area to make way for new community of family-sized townhomes. I was born a year before this, too? <gasps> We're the same age? We've already discussed this, I think, too. <laughs> um, the messaging from the mayor's office has remained relatively steadfast against the backlash from current residents. This new community is not about exhaustion. No, I don't know why I said exhaustion. This new community is not about exclusion. It's not about kicking everybody out says one representative from the mayor's office. Yet despite showing several illust illustrative, oh gosh, I, I need to start reading more so I can read words properly. Illustrative renderings of the future of the neighborhood. Reminder, if you don't read, you forget how to read. <laughs> um... <laughs> Townhomes and a condo building along a tree-lined street. Uh, the Brewer Davidson residents remained unconvinced. Uncon we can't afford that, yelled one resident attending last month's civil council city council meeting. I'm sick of oppression and moving black people out of these communities. I'm sick of it too. Okay. Final notice of eviction. Looks like somebody's getting evicted. Why can't I ever find my wallet? I don't know. How do you find anything with your head so firmly planted up your behind? Oh, jeez. 
Why do you want to see a movie about serial killer in a project anyways? We live in a project. Yes, we do. And we can leave it too. Someone tell me why I married the most stubborn woman in Michigan. <laughs> Someone's got to be realistic around here while you walk around with your head in the clouds. I know these voices. They sound like... Is this her grandparents? If you don't read, you forget how to read. <laughs> right? Shuts off stream, picks up a book. Ah! Hold on. Um, quote ad. I think that's how you do it. Like this? Yeah! Did I not do it right? Um, add quote or quote. I think it's maybe two words. There we go. We got it added. <laughs> if you don't read, you forget how to read. Um, thank goodness. So are you the babysitter? Mom? I mean, uh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I mean, ma'am. Sorry, I think you have me mistaken with someone else. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, perfect. About time. <laughs> Should we say that we're the babysitter or should we like be like realistic and tell her no we ain't the babysitter? I've been here the whole time. Babysitter! Yes. I mean, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Great. Long story short, I'm Evelyn. This is my husband Hank, and we're running very late for our movie. Relax, we're not that late. We did not figure, we did, well, we did not just fight for an hour for you to tell me to relax. It's not for no reason. Me and Amos have really good idea this time. You know what? I think it's a, you know what I think is a good idea? Taking the voucher we've, or taking the voucher they've offered us and renting a house that's close to a movie theater. <laughs> I'm tired of driving out to Farmington Hills every time we want to see a movie. Uh, Ev, what's what a go what good's a house without a community? That's not a sh home. Jeez, I gotta walk. Take a walk. God, I'm like ruining this so bad. <laughs> that man is driving me crazy. Please come inside. Uh, is there anything to click on before? <gasps> There's a little baby. My little baby. This is Georgia as a baby? Weird. <laughs> uh, are you alright? We've been fighting about this since we got the notice that we're turning these apartments into townhomes. They're supposed to be for the people who live here, but we all know how that goes. He wants to stay. I want to move on to something better. Simple as that. I always thought living in public housing would be temporary. And then we came... And then came our daughter, Georgia. And, well, you know, life. Streaming does something to your brain. Makes reading out loud so hard. It's true. Lurk while I do chores. Have fun with your lurk, Ray. Have fun with your chores. I mean, I don't know if you can have fun with chores, but hopefully, hopefully that you do good with them. Whoa, George has been born already? That must mean I'm in the early 90s before I was born. Weird. This is no place to raise, this is no place to raise a family. The building is literally falling apart in front of our eyes, and good luck trying to get management to fix everything once it, or anything once it breaks. Now that they're demolishing this project, we have an opportunity to take, to take a voucher and move on up. I'm with you. What's there to love about this place? There must be something keeping Hank here. Mm hmm. This this could be an actual like big decision on whether they move or whether they stay. 
Well, like, the renting and buying, like, they still end up in that house, but depends on if they own it or not. What do we do? I feel like his reasoning for wanting to stay is, like, what he said before, the community, right? There's, like, a bunch of other people that they've, um, that they've lived around and stuff like that. But then... I don't know. You got a family coming. With the little one. But wouldn't you want to be, like, around community with a little baby? A little bubba? Mmm. There must be something keeping Hank here. I mean, sure, we all... We know all our neighbors and we all look out for each other, but we could find something somewhere else. Hank doesn't see it that way. His best friend Amos lives down the hall. Those who are always dreaming up new business schemes and this time Hank swears it's legit. I want to be supportive, but I don't want to be stuck here. If we move out, we're giving our daughter Georgia better opportunities. True. I was, I was just curious what Hank's reasoning would be. Wow, I wouldn't expect you to be this stressed out. You seem like a super calm, under pressure type of person, at least from my experience. You psychic or something? If I freak out, Hank freaks out. You see why I want to go to some silly horror movie so bad? <laughs> I guess you need the escape. Exactly. Hey, do you mind grabbing Hank from Amos's place? I need to, to calm down and maybe find this man's wallet for him. The wallet! Okay. Hey. Wait, which... Okay, it's not that one. It can't be that one. Because... Right? Man, this dem demolition stuff is bugging me out. What's the government calling it? Hope 6? I don't feel a lot of hope about them knocking down our homes. I feel you on that, but keep your eyes on the prize. We finally got a winning game plan. Yeah, that's sad. I mean, if you're really sure we could get jobs working construction here while they build these fancy- or those fancy townhouses. Yeah, dude, it's the law and everything. I was looking at those flyers they, that said uh, that the crews working here got to hire people from the building. It's called Section 3. Can they not hear me? Better knock again. Knock, knock. Uh, I don't care how many sections they got. We both know these big real estate and construction companies break the law all the time and get away with it. Honestly, it's worth a shot for me. We need the money to start our business. Besides, being a construction worker smells uh, way better than sanitation. Guess I'll knock louder. You hear that? Who's that? Oh, right, the babysitter. Come in for a sec. What's your name? Dorothea, or just Dot. Huh, that's cute. Amos, this is Dot. Come in for a second. I swear I put my wallet down here somewhere. Sorry to intrude, Evelyn, uh, Miss Hawkins, wanted me to come by and let you know she's ready to go. Can she wait a few more minutes? My boy Amos and I were just in the middle of a conversation. Okay, get this. You see how me and ha Hank, uh, we got a natural rapport? Uh, my, I'm the funny guy and he's the straight man, the abbot to my Costello. Shoo! What's this? This is Dot's home. Um, this is Dot. And we're in the past right now. Um, this is her dad. No, is this her dad, I think? I've kind of already forgot. <laughs> um, I think she said mom and dad, yeah. Um, so it's basically kind of like going through the timeline of Detroit and how, like, uh, black people have been basically oppressed and been pushed out of their homes and all this other stuff. And so, this is Dot and this is her home. <laughs> Thanks, Ma, for the hydrate. But yeah, so we're like, 
we're um just getting a taste of history. Otaku, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, shoot, it means you need to start streaming some more. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways. Um who's Abbott and Costello? Abbott and Costello, as in who's on first? You know what? Never mind. What am I saying? Is that when we're on third shift, the drive to work is fun as hell because me and Hank just riff off each other, laughing our heads off about anything and everything. Uh, when we're on first shift, though, we're as silent as a dormouse, listening to the morning news. But wishing we could hear folks like us just talking and having fun, even during the 6 a.m. shift. So get this, what if we recorded our banter and sold cassettes of it? People working night shifts could have their own morning show to listen to. And don't get me started on advertising opportunities. We could read ads for local businesses. I can't believe you invented the podcast. Pod what? <laughs> Nothing, man. Just know you're about... You're truly ahead of your time. I knew it was a great idea, and once we get hot get hired work in construction we'll have the money to record in a studio all professional a podcast right we can list hud as a sponsor what's hud department of housing and urban development they're the ones who decided to knock the building down and revitalize it i know what they could also help revitalize my bank account well good luck with that with all that mr hawkins I think we should probably get back to our place. Or to your place. I guess you're right, Miss Dot. See you on the flip side, Amos. Smell you later, Hank. And I mean literally, because we got third shift tomorrow. Uh, where's the white man who's gonna swoop in and steal the idea, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, do we talk to him? Is it really so important to you to stay here? Listen, I know it's not anyone's American dream. We all do our best to organize, keep it clean, do all the work that management doesn't. It's still a project. It's just, I've been here a long time and I know everybody. I feel like if I leave, I'm saying all the time I spent here doesn't mean a thing. It's like, who said we could only find opportunity by leaving our people behind? Am I really just supposed to turn back on Amos? Just like... Got mine, see ya. I'm sure he'd understand. Yeah, maybe he'd understand, but I don't want to lose that connection. My dad always told me that the hardest choices take sacrifice. Your dad is right. I just don't think it's worth sacrificing a community. I'm, I, I believe that. <laughs> the more that I've lived life. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, let me ask you, what does a nice neighborhood even look like? Uh, somewhere where you and your kids can grow without worry. A street where everyone knows your name. A neighborhood where you shop at the market, the supermarket without being stared at. <gasps> Miyoshi! Hello! Hi, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Um, I feel like this one. What does a nice neighborhood look like? Somewhere where you and your kids can grow with without worry a street where everyone knows your name i'm good how's you miss lady i'm doing good i'm doing good we're playing dots home and then we're gonna do some art afterwards so i'm excited just trying to kind of chill in and taking it easy today not that we don't take it easy other days but <laughs> um do i feel like i might get my hop heating pad out soon because I feel like my little my shoulder is like tense but a lurk got a work meeting ah no work meeting okay enjoy your lurk hopefully it's a good work meeting I feel like this one it's always chill yeah uh somewhere where you and your kids can grow without worry for me it's where people can take care of each other and we're already doing that here uh that got even more important to me after we had Georgia I know why Eve wants to move to where the schools are better, but I don't want my child to be lonely. Oh, I feel like that's what I meant by, like, without worry. Like, you just, you know, you feel welcomed in your neighborhood and everything. I don't know. Anyways. 
Uh, never heard of this game. It's a good one. I've never... This is my first time playing it. Um, and I didn't really watch any, um, gameplay before. Um, it's supposed to be a short game. Um, but yeah, it's called Dot's Home, and this is Dot. And she's actually currently, um, back in time. Um, had the, the beginning of it started where she was at her grandma's house. And then she kind of traveled through time to, like, when her grandma was, I guess, about her age. And they were trying to buy... Her grandma and her grandpa were trying to buy a home. Um, and so you kind of just, like, see uh, history in Detroit, Michigan back in, like, 1950s. And now it's 1992 um, where they're, like, trying to change up homes. And it's just, like... I think I thought it'd be a good Black History Month game to kind of just like help people remember what's happened in the past and and not forget that people should be treated better <laughs> than how they were treated um oh wait did i say this one don't worry about don't worry too much about georgia i have a feeling she won't be lonely for too long sure sounds good <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think it's supposed to be just like about an hour long game, maybe hour and a half. Um, you know, something I don't miss, Dot. Uh, not a thing, Mr. Hawkins. Speaking of home, I should get back. I still haven't found my wallet. Oh, it's right there! <laughs> he dropped it! <laughs> we got it! Ooh, what is this? Oh, look! It's so cute! Oh, is there... There's just money in there. Okay, put this back in. <laughs> okay. Um... Have you seen my wallet? Give Hank his wallet. Yeah, this one. There you go. Thank you. Where was it? It was in your pocket. You dropped it on the ground. Why am I not surprised? Listen, I know we dragged you into this whole mess, Miss Babysitter, but I think, uh, we should stay in tonight, maybe. We clearly have a lot to talk about. So, no ten bucks? You still want it? How about this, then? Who's right? Should we take the voucher and move, or stay here with our friends and our neighbors? Ah! What do we do? Should we- should they stay, or should they move? I mean, if they stay, they stay around their community, which is really, like, kind of what I felt like isn't a bad thing to do at all. Um, stay. Yeah. Uh, friends like Amos are once in a lifetime. It's hard to say goodbye to that. Amos is a trip, but we do anything, or, but he do anything for us any day of the week. That's what being a community is all about. Unless it's Flint. <laughs> it's Detroit. It's not Flint, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. Which... Flint's like just north of Detroit, I think, isn't it? Uh, she needs to invest in Google or something, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Um, that's what being a community is all about. Thank you so much for all your help. I hope you can actually babysit little Georgia sometime. She's a real handful and stubborn, too. She's a baby. Oh, right. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you around. Just know uh, you're both doing a great job at the whole parenting thing. Anyone ever call you, uh, what is that? Precautious? Uh, yeah, my mom does all the time. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we already read it. So we're in 1992. I don't know when this... Like, this game was not... This game was made kind of recently, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I'm wondering what specific era, like, year that this game is, like, where she is supposed to be from. Because this totally looks like, I feel like, 90s outfit. But if we're in, if we're in the 90s right now, like... I don't know. Anyways. Uh, it's just like the high-waisted cuffed pants. I don't know. That just makes me think 90s for some reason. <laughs> Maybe I can use this weird key again. 
Okay. But I'm also not a fashion person, so I can't really- I'm really bad at placing when fashion is, so. Here's hoping I'm not a, uh, not as out of place this time. Could be late 80s. But if this is 1992 in the past, she can't be from the 80s. Because then it would be in the future. Oh, excuse me. I'm not even gonna bother sleeping this time. Oh, we got new stuff. Um, good job, Kimmy. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Modern clothes. I mean, but look at, like, she doesn't... This is supposed to be modern. It just doesn't look that modern to me. But I don't know. Maybe I'm out of touch with fashion. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure I'm out of touch with fashion. Uh, when did I dig out my basketball trophy? Me, Tia, and Tamara are still tight to this day. Tia and Tamara! Not everyone has a Salem shirt. <laughs> Probably most people in Salem might have one. I never was in fashion. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, like, I, I don't really know when things were in and out of style for, maybe like the really obvious ones. But anyways, uh, it's still crazy to me that they were identical twins separated at birth. It's so good at basketball. I mean, she definitely grew up around when I grew up. Are jeans still cool? I got those. I got jeans too, but I haven't worn jeans in a while. I've just been wearing sweatpants. <laughs> I'm a sweatpants girly. <laughs> oh, is this, this is all the same thing. Um, I wish he said no sleep. We already looked at the more bills because we bought the house instead of renting it. Why am I not surprised? Door is locked again. So now where are we going? Third time's a charm. I'm wearing my fatigues? What are fatigues? So are we going... Okay, so we went to 19... I think it was like 56 or 54. I think it was 54. 1954. And then we went to 1992. Eddie Soldier. A storage closet? I can't even tell where I am this time. Is there anything we can click on? Other than the door? No. I wonder if I'm in my own time or still floating around in my family's history. Uh, the Inner Faith Center? It looks different from normal. Between me and Rafi, we look- we work so many hours, I'm afraid that Zizi will forget the face of her parents. Oh my gosh, Python! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello, hello, welcome in, welcome in. How is Dark Souls 3? Slither it on in with, within a- with a Python raid. Miyoshi's always at ease. Painful! So you were at like, I think 10 deaths last I looked. How many did you get before you ended? I'm a ch I'm chill, guys. You are chill. 27! Oh my gosh. A mighty python! The UK's uh, ARPG aficionado has risen from their gaming slumber. From Pokemon beginnings to FPS mastery. They've now embraced the PC life. Nice. Uh, their latest quest, a blind journey through Dark Souls 3 that promises agony and triumph. Um, no recent broadcast, but the memories of battle linger. Ready for more? Stay tuned. I died a lot killing random uh, ads, then realized I can just run past them. What? You didn't try to run past them before? But only died four times killing the next boss? Dang, let's go, GG's! Wait, you're not two or more people? <laughs> guy, you- I'm a chill guys, even guy- <laughs> No! Oh my goodness. Well, now you know, so you can just run past them next time. I am multiplying at the moment. Oh gosh. Meo meosis me meo wait. Mitosis? What is the thing where the, the cells start splitting? 
Uh, still one person now, though. The 92 is actually the number of Miyoshis right now. <laughs> Miyoshis 92. <laughs> um, Miyosh Mi Mitosis. Miyoshis. I don't know. <laughs> Python, thank you so much for the raid. If you need to, like, raid and run, you go do that. Um, I was gonna see. Do you have... I've, I've, I've tried to do some new thing now, I think, where I, um, I'm gonna try and do it if I remember. I'm not the greatest, I don't think. <laughs> but, um, where is it? Um, somebody was doing this thing where they, like, show clips. Do you have any clips you want to show or share? With the chat? You don't have any clips? No, thank you. <gasps> no! Why? I won't. I won't if you don't want me to. Are you sure? You positive? I only have one for me getting jump scared from a ghost in Phasmo. Okay, wait, wait. That sounds awesome. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta see this. Let's bring it up. That's a, a mighty python. There we go. Let's see, let's see. My game was so shit, it just cut out. No! Monty Python clips! Oh, there's no videos found! Do you have a link to it? Miyoshi Takuma! You don't have them, like, available to look at. I don't know, Ella. I gotta head and get food. Okay, well, you do that. We'll get back to the game then. I don't want to keep you from your food. I thank you for the lurk. Okay. Between me and Rafi, we work so many hours, I'm afraid that ZZ will forget the face of her parents. And all this work might go for nothing if we can't find a place to live. Well, I'm gonna go, uh, get going now. Talk to you later, Kimmy. Okay, thanks, Miyoshi, for popping in and hanging out for a little bit. See you next time. Bye-bye. Um, has Rafi said anything about the house hunt? Any places in the area give you a reply? A few places, but they never give a clear answer. Always something about not being a right fit for the neighborhood or trying to preserve the character of the area. I'm losing hope. That's the same garbage they told my mother when we moved here years ago. The community center helped us then and we'll do what we can to help you. No matter where we're from, we immigrants gotta stick together. Thank you, Alma. Your grace is... Er, for your grace. I know we sh uh, should stay humble, but it's hard for our pride sometimes. Rafi's especially. He dreamed of coming here and building a home with his own hands. But we've done nothing but rely on others since we've arrived. A community is only as strong as the people in it. 100%. And if we don't keep good people like your family and ours, we aren't much of a community at all. Beek! Hey, welcome back. Welcome Beek! <laughs> um, that looks like my sister George's wife, Alma. <gasps> you got a little kid in here too? Like a bird? Beak? Oh, the beak? I did my skincare, brushed my teeths, and witched the clothes. You witched them? Like, bewitched? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Switched the clothes. Uh, are you Dorothea? Alma has told me so much about you. I am es Esperanza. Uh, nice to meet you. It's Dot, by the way. Um, oh, I thought that was a play on her Salem shirt. Uh, are you new to the area? Our family plans, uh, to make a home here. At least we're hoping we can. It sounded like you need a place to stay. Right now we're staying with my sister, Alejandra. Uh, when she bought her house, Alejandra was so excited that she convinced us to come here too for the opportunities. There was so much fine print that the seller didn't tell her, and now she can't afford the payments. No! She has to move to a smaller place, so we have to find our own place soon. 
That's not good. How far back can she travel in time? Can she go forward? I don't know if she can go forward. I need to know the limitations of this power. Um. Well, I think we're in current time period right now, but things have been altered or changed because of our decisions. Uh, geez, that's rough. Rafi has been looking for permanent work here, or work ever since we moved here. But they take one look at his name and never give him an interview. I've even had a harder time getting work since he, since I took his last name. Well, I hope things go your way. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you, Dorothea. I mean, Dot. I hope I'll see you around here soon again. Dot, I thought you were too busy with college applications to step foot here. Wait, Alma recognized me? And what's this about college applications? Are you telling me I still pass as a teenager? Are you telling me I still pass? Okay. Okay, so this must be not present time, but it's like maybe a few years back. Um, hope she doesn't accidentally jump into the heat death heat death of the universe ah yeah that'd be scary right um mission control to space cadet dot you still there uh i uh just thought i'd swing by having to boil my whole life down to to a personal statement was giving me a headache well while we're here why don't you help out uh you're not too busy to help your dear sister-in-law this time right I guess since I'm he already here. That's the spirit. Let's go. What are we doing? I need to organize these pamphlets for the event. Lay out the set you think is best and throw the rest in the recycling. Talk to me when you're done. Oh, okay. Wait, so we're organizing? Wait, organize the pan- Oh, oh, okay, wait a minute. Can I see what it says better? What is this? It's so hard to read. So, helping our neighbors prosper for generation. Cash in now. Or we've got something about a community potluck. Lurk, have a fun stream. Give me, thank you so much, Dylan. Have, have a good lurk. I'm gonna say the community potluck. Wait a minute. Because this hope equity, helping our neighbors prosper for generations, cash in now. This is where they're, where like the guy in the beginning, I think, was trying to like get cash for the houses to like basically kick people out, right? Or am I getting that wrong? And with the community potluck, yeah, but food. No, but I feel like if we're doing this one, I feel like if we do the hope one, then we're getting people to move out and move away. Well, this one is building a stronger community where they stand together and maybe fight against this, I think, if I'm understanding correctly, right? I don't know. Sometimes when I read on stream, do the blue one. Why? Because sometimes when I'm reading on stream, like when I read in real life, I read things like seven times until it actually like processes in my brain. And I know I, I don't think you guys want me to do that. So I read it and then I have no idea what I said. <laughs> oh, it's bad. I need to play the villain role. Okay, so that means we're throwing this one away. That helps. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> it's bad. Okay. We've organized the pamphlets. Let's talk to this girl. Are you lost? Ama told me to play with the other kids, but they left already, so I'm waiting until Baba comes to pick us up. Baba. Appa, Daddy, don't tell me you're this old and don't even know that. Sheesh. You're waiting for your parents? Alma is talking about boring adult stuff with Miss Alma, and Baba said that we would come, or he would come pick us up after work. I wish they'd hurry up. Well, I'm sure they uh, wouldn't make you wait if it wasn't important. 
Maybe, but every time I ask questions, they tell me I wouldn't understand. Baba never has time to tell me stories anymore either. He used to tell me funny stories about all the things we did with his brothers in Iraq. Your dad is from Iraq? Yeah, I saw the news people talking about it the other day and told him about it. But he just made a funny face and didn't say anything. Sorry, ZZ. The situation in your dad's country is kind of complicated. More adult stuff? Yeah, more adult stuff. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> the table looks great. Thank you. Hey, we're getting ready for our usual Sunday potluck, and George is at your grandmother's house getting all the dishes together. Meet me outside, and we can walk there together. Okay, so we're gonna go outside. We got interact with a h things a hundred times. Oh my gosh, just because I'm like click, 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 click on everything. Hey, Dot. Thanks again for helping at the community center. Now let's go to your grandma's and help with empanadas. Empanadas. Can't believe you threw away my pamphlets. Yeah. Oh, wait. What is this? Greenlight Theater. 40 plus years in business and we need your help. Now showing Karate Kid. Yes, it's the remake. The Karate Kid. How can one property change hands so many times in a decade and keep turning a profit? Truly a miraculous piece of land. This one's... Oh, that one's for sale now. Hey, Mr. Murphy, what brings you to the neighborhood? Oh, please, Alma, it's Michael. I was just admiring what I hope will be our future purchase. There's something deeply satisfying about an empty home, don't you think? Full of potential, ready to be made into a buyer's image scrubbed of the past. By the way, have you talked to Georgia about finalizing the sale? She's thinking it over. You don't make decisions lightly, or like that lightly. Ah, of course, of course. She's always been shrewd with finances, that one. I have faith that she'll make yet another smart decision and accept our generous offer. Just tell her to remember that the window of opportunity won't stay open forever. I'll be sure to tell her that. Much appreciated, as always. We hope equity are... We at Hope Equity are here to make your real estate dreams come true. Hope Equity? Oh, I almost clicked without reading. Um, those real estate pests with the annoying commercials? You're advertising all over the place, but what exactly is it that you do? This one. Um, hmm, yes, quite generous and offer indeed. Adjust Monaco. <laughs> Uh, hope equity, hope private equity. We make dreams come true by f financing them. We invest in prime properties in neglected neighborhoods like this one. You mean you trick people into buying homes they can't afford then eventually kick them out and jack up the prices? Yeah. I prefer to think of it as putting your resources to good use in undeserved communities. Like my grandfather before me, I'm helping revitalize the neighborhood by putting good people in good homes. Wait a minute. The third and he literally looks exactly the same. He's just, he's a cloning himself. In fact, way back when I worked at the bank, I helped a family purchase this original property. That doesn't seem to have worked out too well for them. Yeah, it's too bad. But everyone deserved a chance at the American dream, don't you think? And now another family has that opportunity. I hope you do a better job of making that happen for this family than you did the last one. I don't think anyone I know considers that the American dream. Um, uh, We're all entitled to our opinions. Anyway, don't be sh uh, do be sure to get an answer from Georgia. Like I said, the clock is ticking. But. Uh, okay. Oh, it's 2010. Read every newspaper. We've read all the newspapers. This is a home, not a bid. Investors cash in on Detroit's housing slump. 
Investors from as far away as Hong Kong and Hawaii are coming to Detroit to make their fortune buying foreclosed homes in bulk. This is a millionaire's market, said Michael Murphy III, an investor from the local suburbs who recently moved back to the Great Lake State last year. Uh, I feel like I'm driving through the city and stopping to shovel diamonds in the back of my truck. Following in the footsteps of his father's legacy as a local real estate investor, Murphy scours the city for houses they can fix and rent. The idea is to generate cash flow until the market improves and then to sell the houses. He owns 38 houses now and will close on 15 more before the end of the month. Jesus. Um, still, it's not just established buyers looking to turn a profit amidst the city's wave of foreclosures. I can buy a home for pennies, flip it into something livable, and then sell it for hundreds of thousands, says Joanna Wright. A 42-year-old mother from Ann Arbor who flips homes in Detroit with her husband. Yes, we were hit hard by the recession just like everyone else. We almost lost everything. At least this way, with the money we're making from flipping homes, I can make sure we're never in that position again. That's crazy. Hey, Daddy, it's been a minute, baby sis. How's life with Grandma as a roommate? Uh, pretty chill and quiet. Grandma isn't really the chit-chatting type. Georgia, why are you out here? Aren't you on empanada duty? They're just cooling down, no worries. I've got some exciting news that I couldn't wait to share. Uh, I talked to the real estate people and we're finally going to sell that house. Oh no. You seem more excited about selling this empty house than you were when you bought yours. Um... Do you ever think about the people who lived in this house, or do you just like to collect the check? Oh, man. You seem more excited about selling this empty house than you were when you bought yours. They have created crispinatas, and yet this... <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, wait. They have created crisp... Have they created crispinatas yet in this timeline? I mean, empanadas. They're getting close. Uh, you ever think about the people who lived here in this house, or do you just like to collect a check? Um, always with the smart mouth this one. I've been sitting on the house since the auction, and it's time to sell. The foreclosure auction, you mean? If we play, play it right, we could get twice or even triple the price I paid for it. So you've made up your mind to sell to Mr. Murphy? Michael's lined up an out-of-state buyer who's willing to pick this r up right away. Why are you so confrontational? What do you mean? Am I being confrontational? <laughs> it finally feels like the hard work getting this place fixed up has paid off. Our family is going to be one step closer to everything we dreamed about. What's with the silent? If we sell, sell this house, no kid of ours would ever have to worry about going to college. Let her sell the house! Uh, I get it. I get it, Georgia. I really do. But, but, sorry, I can't feel good about selling a piece of our block to some outside rich person who will do who knows what with that. Why not? I mean, I'm fine with her selling the house, but like... She's selling it to someone who's going to push out all the communities because they're going to buy up all the houses and then be like, we're going to jack up prices so that you sh shove communities out of their neighborhoods. We're making a mall or that. That's what they might be trying to do, too. Um, not when we're when there are people in need right here. If we want to start our own family, we got to think about ourselves here, Alma. But we can help the people right in front of us in our community. Alma did say that. You clearly have someone in mind. I've been talking to the Tof Tofik family at the community center. They're good people. They have a bright young daughter with a promising future. Everyone else has turned them away. You want us to give up our dream to help some people we barely know? Georgia, that's not... They're immigrants, first generation, trying to make it the same as my family was. 
They have no roots here. Nobody wants to take a chance on them. It's always like that. They're good people who deserve a chance like my family got. Let them rent the place. Give them a home. Your family made it here because they worked hard. This family can do the same. It's not our job to make that happen for them. This home, the money I've put into it, it's the fruit of generations of labor. My grandmother's, my mother's, and mine. If we blow this chance, we don't get a new one. Isn't it our responsibility to give back to the community that made us? My family didn't do this on our own. We came up with the support of everyone around us. We need to give that support to others now. I think that... Oh, you think? You think what, little sister? Do you have some secret ancestral knowledge on this situation or something? Please do share your wisdom. I didn't mean to. It's just that... No, no, no. If you're gonna speak up, then speak up! Oh, Jesus. You should rent the house to the Tophics. You should flip the house and sell it to Mr. Murphy. Ah... Choice will be remembered. You need a uh, you need to help the Tofix family. A home is made of more than one family or one house. Speak up! And we need to let people like them know they're welcome and looked after if we want to keep this neighborhood one worth living in. Glad to see the value of compassion isn't lost with you, Dot. Did it explain why she can't mention the time travel powers? <laughs> no, it didn't mention that. Um, I think I'm going to get me one of those empanadas. It seems like you two need a moment to yourselves anyways. Alright, feel free to clean up some of those dishes while you're at it. Always ordering me around, I swear. Let's see if this key can get me back to the future. I mean, present. Let's go! Um, where are we going? Uh, why is it after every time I come back? I'm not sure if I helped them make the right decision. Oh, are we just going? Wait, the key has stopped glowing. Am I back home for good? Are we? Well, it looks like it. Leaky roof. Wow, the ceiling's leaking again. Did it ever stop? Dorothea, what are we do? What are you doing downstairs already? I thought you were sleeping. I wish. Well, there's some. There's still some mac and cheese if you want to reheat some. Ugh. That sound... Was that Carlos? Did he go back into the basement? Yes, that boy just won't stop going down there, even if it kills him. I should go check on him. <gasps> oh no! Carlos, what happened? What... And what is that awful smell? What are you doing down here? I thought I told you not to... Everything is ruined! I couldn't save any of my games! Cough, cough. She's so carefree and mending, meddling with the timeline. Love the energy. Uh, forget about the games. Come on, we need to get you upstairs and get you your inhaler. I don't want to go upstairs. I don't even want to be here. How how you can even say, stay in this house? Something's always falling apart every other week. Carlos, uh, we can talk about this upstairs. Let's go. <laughs> cough, cough. Grandma should just buy a new house. Mom does it all the time. Why can't Grandma? She could buy a house where I could breathe. Cough, 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 cough. Carlos, I hear you. I really do. But we have to get out of here right now. Come upstairs and we'll talk about it. Ugh. No, Carlos. Kid is dying. Someone help him. I know, right? What in God's grace has been happening here while I was gone? Carlos, are you okay? Yeah, Grandma, just out of breath. I think a pipe burst or something while Carlos was in the basement playing his game. He was knee-deep in sewer water down there. Boy, I told you not to play down there. 
It's bad enough that we already live so close to the industrial plant and their smog. You and I might have been able to get by, but all this is clearly affecting Carlos's asthma. Uh, with how old this house is, well, what are we gonna do? Just put a bandage on everything until someone like this happens. Until something like this happens again? No, not rest in peace, Carlos. We gotta save him. You know your grandpa Carl used to be the one to fix things up, Dorothea. It's just been so difficult since he's passed. <laughs> grandma, are you honestly okay with staying here? We know you deserve to live out your best life, and I don't want you to have to spend your years in a house that's falling apart. Do you know what we went through to get here? This house wasn't always our home. Y'all know the start, but not the hows and whys. Before me and your grandpa Carl left South Carolina, we only had enough to survive our present. But we wanted to build a foundation for our future, so we decided to move up here to Detroit. We walked into this house one day, Ended up buying this place. Had us thinking it was a good deal. But there's always finer and finer print. That good deal kept biting us. Kept us from any plans we had to improve this old place. Too many friends had the bank take their homes. And I swear we spent too many nights worrying us would be next. I notice she's not leaping to travel back in time to save this his games. No, <laughs> that seems egotistical in my opinion. Maybe Murphy is the good guy. I don't know about that. But we can't say we spent a single dollar toward anything but our family's future. Lots of talking. Is yeah, it's a lot of talking. <laughs> so it's it's a story game. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be lots of talking. <laughs> so they really listened to my advice? Years passed and we had Hank and then Hank met Evelyn. Your mom always pushed Hank to be better and do better. Which is why they left here to live in their own apartment. Even though he'd never admit it, your dad's ideas kept getting bigger and bigger so that he could make Evelyn's dreams come true. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, and what were mom's dreams? But what did dad want for himself? Oh, no. <laughs> I want to know both. <laughs> um, they really listened to my advice. <laughs> yeah, right. She could try to travel past Dot's ramblings if she wanted to. Oh, my gosh. Time travel past her own ramblings. Oh, uh, sorry. I want to know what mom's dreams were, why he felt like he had to keep going bigger and bigger. But then, like, I also agree that, like, what were his dreams? Like, I want to know both of them. Which one should we pick? What? But what did dad want for himself? I never could read Hank. That- Oh, sorry. <laughs> I clicked it like literally a second before I saw your message. Okay, that's fine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm sorry. I hate the delay. Like, I- I know that there's a delay, but I don't really know how much of a delay there is. So I never know how much to actually, like, wait for people's answers. <laughs> don't worry, I'm sorry. So bad. I never could read, Hank. That boy always just wanted to create. And for his family to love what he created. Since Hank convinced Evelyn to stay in their community and fight for better conditions, Hank and his boy Amos kept throwing every loose scent they had into idea after wild idea. But they did finally strike gold with that podcast of theirs. Yeah, the podcast! 
I feel like the mother no one cares about. My dreams? No, Marcos! But they, but they do because the dad was... Hank, the dad, was pushing so hard so that he could make sure that her dreams were met. But it looks like he got his dreams met too. Or at least I'm assuming her dreams were met since his dreams were met and things struck gold and whatnot. Something about housing and crime. They called it the heist. And how does that make you feel, MVP Marcos? It makes me want to time travel. Ah! Time travel back in time and change the past. Heck, that radio show expo exposed the wrongdoings of those rich developers who took over that old apartment building of theirs. Kicked all the poor families out and built luxury condos with government money. Residents took them to court and actually won. Yeah! I think we did one thing right in this path, time traveling. What, uh, what would you do if you could? What, Marcos? What would Marcos' decisions be? Bentley would be on my lap right now, let's just say that. <laughs> You, you would have gotten Bentley before me. Um, that's how Evelyn and Hank brought themselves that Florida timeshare back when you were in high school. So this wasn't all a dream. I really went back to the past. No matter how it turned out, your parents gave you all everything. You and Georgia had your own home and your sister even ended up selling houses herself. <gasps> Wait a minute. You and Georgia had your own home, and your sister even ended up selling houses? Multiple? Uh, I'm not paying for this? What do you mean? Dang! Oh, what, what would you do if you could, and how would that make you feel? I'm not paying- <laughs> Dang, jeez! Okay, Georgia, ever the opportunist. Georgia always knows a good duo when she sees it. Oh. What should we do? I feel like, um, this is like how she was, now nah, do whatever you want. No! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to! Should we do? It's totally up to you, Kimmy, clearly. The first one? Okay. There, you got to pick. <laughs> Georgia, ever the opportunist. <laughs> Don't be like that. Your sister's just like your daddy. Success for her is success for the family. Wait a second, no! Oh, you tricked me! I guess you're right. You can't do that, that's mean! George has always been something else, though. Maybe it's because she was old enough to remember back when your parents lived in public housing. <laughs> mean. But she was never righteous about making sure she and Alma were better off. Remember when she wanted to sell that house next door? She only gave up on selling after Alma talked her some sense into her. Decided that it was about uh, time someone else got the opportunity she got. That the pie was big enough for her family to have plenty to share. Oh, this voice. <laughs> Glad she did, because the t tall figs are good people and good neighbors. Always helping out with a smile, too. So all of a sudden, Carlos doesn't have asthma. What a fit. Right? He stopped coughing. Um, you do old lady voice perfectly. <laughs> I think that's the only voice I actually do good, is old lady voice. That ZZ sure grew up to be beautiful. I bet she's off at camp for summer. Last I talked to her mom. I wonder if it- I wonder if it's space camp? Uh, Kimmy just an old lady at heart, yeah. 
It's a messy story, I know. It wasn't always clear to us what was right, but uh, it got us all here. We struggle for our place, but put down roots for your all to grow from. Grandma, I appreciate the history, but I got asthma. <laughs> I need my inhaler. But why does it matter how long we've been here if we can't stay here because it's falling apart? Um, what, Kimmy can't wait to end stream and start <laughs> knitting? I actually have crocheted before. I think I still have my crochet stuff. Uh, Ella, that's a good point. Carlos is fine, to be honest. He's been standing there dead still the past ten minutes. No! <clears throat> that's probably not healthy. Wait, what is? The coughing or the, the crocheting? <laughs> Dot, you've been quiet. Don't you have something to say about all this? After all, it's your house we're talking about. My house? What do you mean, my house? Child, who do you think was going to get this house after I'm gone? I figured Dad would get it, or even Georgia, since she's the oldest and a real estate whiz. You know your dad couldn't stand these Michigan winters again. I'm waiting for my friend to finish the sloth crochet. He said he'd make me. <gasps> really? Wait, you still never posted pictures of your sloth plushies. Oh, so now Dot is acting tough. <laughs> George just asked about it once before. Lord knows she'd been dreaming for years about what she could do with the property. But I want to give this house to someone who calls it a home. Oh, so that's why it's called Dot's Home! Oh, full circle. Oh my god, the house is mine? Wow, never knew. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Do you need to go beep, beep, boop, boop? <laughs> Where is he? I'm sorry, where is he? Bentley? Where are you? Oh, I think I see him way over there on my bed. Grandma, I don't know what to say. I never imagined. Well, start imagining. After hearing all of this from you, sell the house, stay in the house. Oh, God. Okay, this is up to you guys. Stay in the house or sell the house. Came here to see you leaning? Came here to see you lean. Oh, like this? I was trying to find a uh, Bentley. Sell. Make a pole. Yeah, okay. We'll make a pole. What do we do with the house? Uh, sell. Or stay. What do we do? What do we do? The pole is up. Sell or stay? I'm done driving now. I'm back. Welcome back. Stay. Oh, Taco, there's a pole. Oop. <laughs> you left the lights on. Left the lights on in the car? Can you, you can do that, though, I think, right? What? Wait, did I put it for... Uh... I actually don't know. Haha, <laughs> I will abstain. What do you mean you don't know? You can just pick one. It doesn't really matter. It's anonymous voting. Um, no one will know what you really put. Um, and the door is unlocked. I left the car running one time. <gasps> you did? Oh no. How long did it stay running for? Well, not there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You didn't have to say stay it is. I want everyone to know I put sell. Did I put it for that you could do channel points too? Or is it no chance? I don't think I clicked for channel points. It ran out of gas after being away for 30 hours. You left the car running for 30 hours. Did you ever go like, where's my no points, no points. Okay. Did you ever go, like, where are my keys? Or do you have your car keys separate from other keys? 
I forgot. No, Miyoshi! Um, I'm guessing we're gonna sell, but I'll wait till the thing goes all the way down. We got four... Or 20% on stay, 80% on sell. Uh, okay. Hopefully you don't do it again, Miyoshi. I would hate for you to waste gas. Selling the house. <clears throat> I thought of I've thought about it and I can see how hard everyone worked to get us here. At the same time, doesn't it always seem like we're constantly on the edge of achieving our dreams? Everything we want is always right out of reach. And with prices going up and people being pushed out, it's only going to get harder to keep up. That's why we should sell the place. We've always made our home where we can find it. Uh, hey, at least you know you got 30 hours worth of gas as zero miles per hour. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this neighborhood is changing and we need to change with it. If that's your decision, then I respect it. It's about time I handed the keys to the next generation. Do you remember the door in the basement? I keep what's important in there. Inside that room is a locked box containing the deed to the house. It probably also contains the inhaler that Carlos needs. Wow, we're terrible people. Don't go into that basement, it's a trap! Waste of like half a tank. <laughs> no! Half a tank. So then me, really you could have gotten 60 hours. Right? It's yours now. I told you this place was always going to be yours. You'll need this. New item! Wait, isn't that the key that we've sold? Decided to sell the house is the achievement we just got? Well, here we go! It could have been running still. Maybe, prop, maybe, yeah. I can't believe I've never gone in here before. Uh... Oh, this is the lockbox. The locks box. Jason T. Oh, okay. We didn't get to read any of it. There'll be a Home Alone style trap inside. <gasps> no! With the paint bucket that comes down and like wax her in the face. And what else happens? That's the only thing I really remember <laughs> from that movie. Um, wow, the deed to the house. New item. I wonder what the future has in store. We just got, indeed, get the deed in the house. Neutral ending. Get the neutral. Okay, so we got a neutral ending. So there's, I'm guessing, three different endings. Spoilers, the real owners of the house are trapped in the basement for the last 60 years, aka Murphy's parents. <laughs> Today's a big potluck over the interfaith community center and of course alma is leading the charge i know i'm not in the neighborhood as much these days but geez i'm always put to work as soon as i'm back oh is this um dot it's just we really wanted a place that was ours you know it is dot uh see she's got a cute outfit i mean i thought this wasn't cute but this made me this did not give me 2010 vibes um, it's just, we really wanted a place where, you know, grandma may have given me the keys, but I'll always see that house as hers. So I moved out to the suburbs and got a place of my own. It's close to work and we're trying to start a family too. I guess in some strange way, I'm continuing my family legacy of making homes of our own. Though sometimes I worry if I made the right choice. I hate that grandma lives up in that house alone. These, wait lives in that house alone so does she own the house but she gave it to, she like let her grandma live in it red bull sponsored uh final fantasy 12 apparent or what is that um seven apparently interesting sorry wrong game <laughs> i was like wait what um these days i'm teaching at the charter school preparing the next generation for greatness it's a nice job a charter school with plenty of resources. The kids are well behaved. Too behaved, honestly. Guess I'm used to a classroom where kids are allowed to be kids. Speaking of kids, I haven't seen the nephew of mine in a long time. Carlos barely comes to visit grandma. 
That new nonprofit architecture job has him working day and night. Not that he minds. Uh, you had me wondering if they were doing a 12 remake. <laughs> that you? Yeah, this is Dot. This is our character we've been... Um, but like, in I guess present day? Like 2023? 20, 2024? I was in that school. I miss... I miss Miss Dot. Oh, <laughs> She got old. Yeah. But she got mature. I don't know if she's like old, old. These are like dimples on her. On her cheeks there. Uh, she's constantly saying what they're doing is big. Or he's constantly saying what they're doing is big. Making housing affordable for tons of people. Builders of hope architecture firm. Wish he'd put that much enthusiasm into his neighborhoods though. Still, I miss him. Gotta be like 32. Hey! <laughs> Is that old? I'm that old. Dot emote when? Shots fired. Damn, the 32 sound of personal. I'm just kidding. I know, right? I was like, dang. Yeah, the end. That was a cute little game. I wonder what the other endings would have been like. I'm too tired to read all that again, though. <laughs> Maybe we'll play it again next year and try to get a different ending. Elden Ring time! We gotta finish. We gotta draw another animated emote. That's what we need to do. Animated emote time! Animated emote time! Animated emote time! Yeah, 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 yeah. What, you guys just want Elden Ring time all the time? Elder Scrolls time. Like Skyrim Elder Scrolls. Because that's the only Elder Scrolls game I got. Yeah, we beat it. There's a... I, it's a short game. Um, oh, we, we've been streaming for two hours already? Dang. Um, Minecraft time. Yeah, so we beat it, but there was a... It, we got a neutral ending. So it seems like there's a couple other... Um, couple other endings but we're gonna we'll if we do it again we'll save those for a different time um zelda scrolls like arena zelda scrolls is it me am i the emote is it me am i the emote like the problem going to replay or new game next well uh we're gonna do some animated emote drawing next um, can you check endings? I don't- oh, endings. I didn't even see that. So we had- there's the neutral ending, which is what we got. There's the bad ending. Cash for key- do we want to just see them? Or I guess we can just see them. Good ending! Get the good ending. We didn't get the bad one. Why you- what? Why would you want the bad one? Take care of your home, and it will take care of you. Grandma told me that after she gave me the keys, I didn't know what she meant at the time. But now I realize that I was thinking too small. A home is more than a piece of property, a single building. It's a place. A community. Carlos soon moved in with Grandma after I moved out. He still complains about the house sometimes, but I know he loves it there. Grandma has always been good company, and so long as she's not lonely, all of us are happy. Carlos dies? Probably no! He got- he's living with Grandma! What is the bad one? We'll check the bad one after this one. As for me, I'm teaching at a local school, trying to pass on some knowledge to the next generation. When I started, kids kept asking me for advice on this and that after class. And I realized being a teacher means more than just sticking to the lesson plan. A few years ago, the neighborhood put up a vote to create a community land trust. Neighborhood community land trust. We organized and made sure nobody could move in on our homes. Or renew the neighborhood to the point where we couldn't afford to live it in, in it anymore. Companies keep moving in, making offers and trying to buy us out, but we've held strong. 
Sometimes we get a new politician uh, with ties to big real estate developers who tries to get us to sell out our neighborhood. Uh, but we're a community, and that means not only making this a good place to live for the people here now, but for the people who come next, and speaking of the next generation. We can't leave this neighborhood to others anymore. We need to show up. Not just in polls, but in town halls, schools, bo school boards, and even their front yards if we have to. Let the powers that be know this is our neighborhood, and we're going to fight for it. Yeah! I should have done the bad ending and then they couldn't end on the good ending. She becomes a time traveling tyrant, hopefully, leaves Carlos in a prehistoric age. What? She probably moves to Flint. <laughs> Jeez. Plus one to that idea. Wait, plus one to what idea? A bad ending. Uh, routine isn't always bad. Sometimes after a hectic day, you look forward to it. Every night I come home, George the doorman lets me in, we exchange a hello or just a nod. I don't know anything about him except his name, and he only knows me as Miss Dorothea from the 17th floor. She becomes Elden Lord? <laughs> uh, at all of them? Oh, plus one to the idea of like doing all, like going through all these. Um, after Grandma sold the house, she moved in with Alma and Georgia. Georgia gave me the money told me to find some place comfortable. She said she didn't even know what to spend it on. She'd already gotten everything she wanted in life. Even when her health got worse, she refused to let, let a cent of that money be spent on her. Georgia moved her into a nursing home eventually. It made more sense than hiring a full-time nurse, I guess. But still, I hate thinking about her alone in that place. No... I keep myself busy with work. I'm teaching at the charter school, preparing the next generation for greatness. It's a nice job. A charter school with plenty of resources. The kids are well behaved. Too behaved, honestly. Guess I'm used to classrooms where kids are allowed to be kids. She could have hired me. Um, Carlos has taken up George's, George's business in an old neighborhood. Practically runs the place, I'm told. Every other week is another open house. He's even beating Georgia in sales. I don't know where he's finding these buyers, but he makes it happen. Or at least that's what Georgia or what Grandma told me. With Grandma's house sold, we don't see each other much. We try to make plans, but there's always this and that getting in the way. Well, this is me. It's so easy to get lost in thought on the way up. There's a notice on the door. Dear resident, We've been alerted by other residents of excessive noise coming from your unit during quiet hours, 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. last night. Please be mindful of your fellow residents. Should we continue to receive complaints, we will have no choice but to enforce penalties and or involve law enforcement. Sincerely, Woodworld Towers Management. Now my music is noise? Huh. I wish my fellow residents would have the guts to come and talk to me about it in person. But then again, we all keep ourselves around here. We all keep to ourselves around here in the towers. From the view up here, it seems like the old neighborhood keeps changing. They bulldozed the old community center a couple years ago. They treated it as a celebration, part of this redevelopment project. They were going to hire, even hire locals to help build it, but instead the project stayed in limbo for years. They could never agree what is what it was going to be could never finalize the details now it's a fence of fenced of pile of rubble and people pass by every day workers only show up to fence off the place again after some bad weather knocked down the perimeter they managed to pack the city council with politicians who are in the real estate development's po developers pockets uh, I've even heard they're considering buying people out or giving people vouchers to move while they rebuild the neighborhood. For new people with new money, there are still people out there who have hope for the neighborhood. They're out there doing their part, organizing. But I guess it's not really my neighborhood anymore. Me? I'm just trying to make it out here on my own. The bad ending isn't really that bad. It just seems like real life. True, but is real life good <laughs> anyway um 
Well, that was Dot's home. Nope. Yeah. Um, emo drawing. I I was thinking that we'll probably do one. Um, wait, you can time travel. <laughs> right. Not like the whole game, just the endings. The the bad the bad ending. Do, do, do. Let me see here. Let me turn this this way. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Is real life good, Kimmy Karma? How does real life make you feel? Um, mixed emotions sometimes. I'd probably go too far back. Probably like the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. Um, okay. I actually have partially started this emote drawing. Um, do, do, do. mixed. What about you? How does real life make you feel? Mmm. Does this, is this, okay. It's all linked together. Let's see, yeah. I need to get this uh brought up. Continue trial. Okay. Grub, hello! Honestly, life seems good right now, but it, sh but it changes often. Yeah, it does change often. Um, art. Window capture. We need... Is it this one? Yeah. I think that should show everything. There we go. Is the audio broken? I don't know, is it? Hey yo! Wait. Is it because you have some black hairs mixing in the blonde hairs? <laughs> I don't know if it's that. Overall good? Is audio- oh, never mind. It's still going through my headphones. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Finished Majora's Mask yet? No, we still have some Majora's Mask to do. Um, but well, yeah, we're not quite um, not quite done yet. We still have. I think we're in the like graveyard. We didn't totally get to the last temple yet, but we're almost there. Um. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, we're going to, so I think I'm only gonna just do this one emote. Um, I started it off stream, but I haven't finished it yet. Fungus is a boring Pokemon. Hey, that emote doesn't look that much like me, but it's a work in progress. <laughs> we need to, what do we need to do to make it look like you? Mm, I need to put clothes on her. Um, okay. Let's see here. Mm. So let's first, let's first actually add the shirt, I guess. 
Or should it go like, maybe like that? Okay. There. Uh, I forget you guys never see my face. <laughs> yeah. That you, Marcos? We could put a Bentley somewhere in it. On your shoulder, maybe? Well, it's gonna be an emote, which means it's gonna be like this big. You probably wouldn't be able to see Bentley. Um, off to dinner with the wife. Have fun with dinner. I hope it's amazing and wonderful. Um, okay. If so, then we're gonna do right dish. And then down. Should be enough knowing he was there. <laughs> or it would be enough knowing he was there. But Mary, wait a minute. It's my fourth anniversary, but married 16. How is that possible? How is that your fourth anniversary? Oh, because it's leap year. Duh. Leap day. <laughs> Would it be cool if you could get the emotes to move? Yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm. This is going to be an animated one. We're going to make it move. We're going to, well, we're going to make it do stuff. Um, but I gotta get the base going first. Leap, leap. Happy leap day, everybody. Do, 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 do. Um, I just wanted to pick this color up. So that we can put this on the shirt here. There we go. Okay. And then... I think we've pretty much got the hair color, like the hair outline done. We just need, um, show me, act it out. <laughs> what time is it where you are, Kimmy? 10, 10 PM? Yeah, it's 10. You guys creepily know my time zone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know Marcos, I think you said you were in Florida, which would be East Coast time, so that would make sense. Um, 10 p.m. Cool. Uh, reaching 3 a.m. there? Where are you? You in Wait. No, you've said this before. We live in the same time zones. You even- you too, Miyoshi? Oh, yes, creepily, as we live in the same time zone. <laughs> She's becoming Dot all egotistical. Is Dot really ego to egotistical? Didn't you say UK? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the UK. That's right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I need this hair layer. To be like back here, I think. Yeah, so that it's behind. Interesting. Okay. Definitely needs to be. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. That's fine. I think. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. This is not fine. Hold on. This is all crazy here. Okay. And then I think this. We need to erase a little bit of this. There we go. Okay. Um, Nintendo! Hello, hello! Uh, gonna color half the hair black? Yep, yep, yep. You playing some Elden Ring tonight? Maybe. I want to get this emote done so we can add another emote to the animated slots. Because we have, um, what do we have? I don't remember how many we have that we need to fill. Do, 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 do. 
So we have one more standard emote slot to fill. We have four animated slots to fill. You should add a little sloth on the shirt. <laughs> Will you be able to see it though? Probably not. It'll be too tiny. We gotta add a, apparently we gotta add a little Bentley and a sloth. Um, okay. Hold on. And then I think if we add... This is... Hard. I can't figure out for sure, like, where... Hold on. If we're on this layer, but it's gonna go over. Okay. We'll figure this out in a second. I'm like trying to go over so many different um, layers and they're all kind of mixing in each other. Geely, hello, hello, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing? Hello! Okay. This is, uh... Okay, this still works, I think. Okay. The odd part... Is that part of her... I still think we need to go here just to like get rid of this. So that it actually looks like um, the headphones. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Mm. Like this? Um... Listen. Oh, thank you so much, Ray, for changing that. Or trying to. Did it not work? Um, oh, error. There's a connection error. Okay, hold on. Art. Thank you, thank you. It never worked. I think it's some setting that I might have to change. I don't know if I... It... Because maybe it's like, maybe I have to make you like a super moderator to be able to change this stuff. Um, where be Nintendo? She came in earlier. She's probably lurking or out doing something. Looking good. Thanks, Nintendo. Um, bum, 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 bum. There's a super mod. I don't know. How do I apply for super mod? It's not really that you apply for it. It's just like a specific setting on Twitch, I think. But it doesn't give you any different logo or anything. It just like allows you to bypass stuff. Ray is a super mod. She is. Not, I don't think she actually is on the settings, but she is one. I know I don't need to say it, but I promise I will treat your stream like the most delicate flower. Huh? Send her your resume. Oh, gosh. It gives me ego. That's more than enough for me. <laughs> How do I fly? <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay. I think I might also need to maybe, like... Maybe we get rid of this. We'll see how this looks if I get rid of this. So that it kind of like... Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, draw me like one of your French girls. What's up, Critical? How are you doing? 
What's the difference between mod and super mod? It's just something like... I think it just allows um, you to do more things on Twitch. I don't really know. Like, I saw it as a thing. Hold on. Let me see. Where is it? Settings. Is it mod or... No. Is it community? No. Man roles manager. Okay. Um, all ro- Oh, see, there's just moderator, artist, VIP. But, like, if I go... Let me go to my stream summary here. If I do, like, slash... There should be, like, mod, unmod. Monitor. Hmm... Maybe it's not a thing. Display a list. I don't know. Never mind. I thought it was a thing. I think it's on stream elements. Maybe it's stream elements that I'm thinking of. Not Twitch. It has something to do with that, I think. Anyways, I remember seeing it somewhere. I just don't remember. It has something to do with, um, like, the ability to control certain things or whatever. Um, slides Chris Bonata, I'm here for the super mod <laughs> You can be my super mod. The word super. Let's go. I'm gonna go watch... The Fairly Odd Parents. <gasps> That's a good show. Um, fairly God Parents don't exist. Nice try. <gasps> what do you mean? Wait, bait and switch? Supreme mod. Psych. Or super mod. I don't know why I said supreme mod. Bentley is the one <laughs> true super mod, right? That's not true. I had one when I was 10. A god. Uh, what was it? A god parent? Fairy, fairly God Parent? How do you remember that? How do you not remember stuff from when you were 10? Actually, I don't really know if I remember stuff from when I was 10. Okay, let's make this darker. And we're gonna put this down here. Ooh, okay. And then we need to get rid of that. Okay. There. Perfect. Now I need my other hair color. This hair color. Mm. She's a super freak. Super freak. She's super freaky. I don't know what you're talking about. I was never your godparent. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? To Ray? Because I'm amazing, lol. Right? Can't deny that fact. Mm hmm. Okay. How is this hair going to be on here? Maybe this way? Ooh, interesting. I had... Okay. I have to figure out how I... Did this before. I think I need to bring it a little... That's a little too small. So we'll do this. And then very carefully kind of like do this. But, I have the hair kind of, like, popping up, so... Hmm. Like this. I'll have to figure out how that works. Um, these ads are awful, can't hear anything. No! Miyoshi! Hello? <laughs> They said fairly godparent. Fairly. 
Oh. But you said it from Ray. Ray didn't say that, did? Um, I'm glad Fairly noticed. I always notice you. MVP Marcos. Go. Oh! Book catch. How they can't escape if it hasn't come up yet already. I feel like if it hasn't come up that it's escaped. I've called him that in the past. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that looks good. But now, hold on, where is that one? I think it's in the back. Yeah, okay. Um, you guys have any plans for the weekend? Anything exciting happening? Hmm. Um, I have a call. What, what, what? what is the emote listening to? Probably the Wii Shop music. <laughs> Fairly Godmother, which, when I eventually do some giveaways, is a persona I will adopt. <gasps> so you're gonna put a dress on with some little fairy wings? Oh, Avenge Sevenfold. Uh, Sandstorm. <laughs> Yeah, sandstorm. You'll see, I have an idea of how I want to do this. I saw it in somebody else's, um, what, somebody else's emotes that they did. And you might think sandstorm after, after I do it. Um, okay. What do we need? No. There we go. Okay. I need to be careful because it's gonna like <clears throat> go over the uh, the lines on the face. Um, ten hour waifu ASMR won't be the first time. Oh no. <laughs> 10 hour waifu. Um, okay, let's go smaller. Do this. Here we go. Um, wait, what? I just like the blurt because it makes me hungry. <laughs> you want taco? You're trying to make me order more crispinatas, aren't you? Pavlov was right. Oh my gosh, Bumble! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello, welcome in, Buzz Buzz. The bees are swarming out of the hive. Bumble Squad is raiding. Moans. Oh my god, moan. Why are you to the moan? Hello, Miyoshi. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm, I don't have much water left. Welcome in, welcome in. Bumble Babe, the laugh master. 100% true. Cosplay enthusiast. And your mom's fave from six day, sick days to survival games. They've got a first playthrough frenzy. Recently, they've been naming in-game pals after viewers. Claim yours. Um, plus, a collab with Kimikarma. Hello. Had everyone asking, should we stay married? Tune in for dad jokes and chill vibes. And hey, subs get art. Whoop, whoop. Hello, hello! Can you milk me? What the heck? Moans? Why are you guys so odd? <laughs> hello, hello! That's so funny. Ayo, hey, moan, Mona, Mona? 
What happened to the last samurai? What do you mean? What happened to the last samurai? Welcome to the children of Bentley. <laughs> uh, you finished the wall? You finished that wall? What wall did she finish? I finished? Hello, hello, hello. On purpose? Um, more like furry odd chat wait would you call us the fairly odd chat more like furry odd chat i'm on the wall 30 times jesus stefan stefan drinks five percent milk anyone watch the bear on hulu you guys before before we go any further i'm gonna start doing something new that i saw someone else do and i think it's awesome send me some bumble clips your favorite bumble clips that you've seen i know we all know bumble here but for anyone that maybe has not seen or met bumble i want bumble clips give me bumble clips as we're gonna uh we're gonna we're gonna Share everybody who might not know Bumble, which is probably unlikely, but it's possible. It could be possible. We're gonna show those people Bumble. Show me your favorite Bumble clips. Um, what is this? Anyone watch the bear on? I don't know if I know the bear. Fucking GP GRP at what? I don't know any of these people. Oh grapes. I'm the milk master. Love that show. Okay. It's okay. I'm lost. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are funny. Um, while we wait on some bumble clips and people to give us more bumble clips, um, for anybody who doesn't know me, I'm Kimmy Karma. Um, you probably might have seen me on Sunday because Bumble and my Bumble and I have been doing it takes two on Sundays. Um, but I mostly try to stream Zelda. Um, we're doing Zelda in lore order, so on Wednesdays and Saturdays we do Zelda games, and then other days we do other random variety content. Earlier we played Dots Home, and now we're just trying to make some emotes. Um, One eternity later. Uh, but we try to have fun here and do some fun stuff. Oof. Oof. Uh, got one, Chief. Thank you, thank you, Shu. Thank you for the, the clip of Bumble. Bruh. Um, that's a good one. It's a good one. Kim, are you gonna see Dune 2 with us? You can sit by me. When are you seeing Dune 2? So. Is this the same clip? I've already got it pulled up. I need different clips. Give me different clips. Multiple different clips. I want more than one clip. It doesn't- I need more than one. Uh, we'll watch multiple. You gotta give me more than one. What is Bumble clips? I'll show you Bumble clips when we get some more. I'm on Bumble. You are on Bumble, Stefan. I gotta send a message. What kind of message? Wait, no longer. Reported. Bruh, thank you. Thank you for more. Thank you, City, for more Bumble clips. If you guys have any other ones? Saturday, my sis is coming and we have one extra. Oh, it's on Saturday? Ugh, I have to work. And I literally mean that. Like, it's normally my day off, but I have to cover for somebody. Otherwise... If you guys have an extra place for me to sleep, I'd probably start heading down there on Friday. Uh, just watch... Just watch Hoi What? <laughs> no! Quit? What do you mean quit? I need I need a job. Why this one? Okay, we got another one. Cool, perfect. Um, and another one. Awesome, perfect. Great, great. I think that should do okay for now. Uh, what do I do for work? I am what you call a slotting analyst. How close are you to... How close are you to do that? Uh, like... I don't remember how many hours, actually. I think it's almost the same amount of time as you, Ray, to be honest. <laughs> um, you can sleep at Stefan's AO. Hey, yo, we've got four now. Is this five? I know, Shu will do that one. Why you keep chewing? It's the one you clipped. You're very proud of it, aren't you? You want me to show it. His door is locked from the outside. That's scary. Wow. Wow, what? I see how much I'm loved. You, we, you haven't invited me to an event. You've invited me over, but... Um, because it was so... <laughs>
pre pretentious and sassy? Oh. Okay, okay, here's another one. Okay, okay. You guys ready? Y'all ready? Well, uh, we'll, we'll watch this. Um, I need to get window capture. Disc, this, um, can I go full screen? Wow! What? Okay, why does it have to be an event? You want a free movie ticket? Yeah. <laughs> I love movies. I'm ready to be embarrassed. Okay, you guys ready? Uh, oh, no, I can't yet. I mean, I, I can, but let me adjust this so you guys can actually see Bumble's face. I want you to see her face. This gorgeous lady. Okay. I think this is better. There we go. Ready? Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. I have to address something else, too. I need to turn this silly music off. And then um, we need to turn Twitch volume on. So that we can actually hear this. Unmute site. Okay. Uh, now we should be able to hear this. Ready? <laughs> Thank you, Seven, for the gift I'm gifted. What is this? You will never get this? You know, here. Can you not hear it? You can't hear it? Do I need to make it louder? Hold on, let me make it louder. Uh, you're already embarrassed? Why? Let me recount the Mario game I watched. Recount it. That divorce is coming. I can see it. Mario? Yeah, I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. What do you mean you're sleeping on the couch tonight? I'm so confused. How are you sleeping on the couch in your own house? Get enough web pages? Shh. Shh. How about the web pages? Okay. We'll start it over. Can you hear it? Yeah. King of the castle, king of the castle. Oh, go to this, go to this. I have a chair, I have a chair. Sometime my sister, she show her vagine to my brother below and she said, you will never get this. You will never get this. La 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 la. And uh, behind the cage, a crazy crazy. Everybody laughs. She goes, you never get this. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so funny. What the heck? Uh, I was doing Borat. Me. Baby, did you hear it? Look at those eyes. Okay, wait. The next one. Ready? Oops. I'm the best gamer girl. Oh. <laughs> I, I did that on purpose. Yeah, I'm muted. I just realized that. I was like, ah! Wait, you said watch her eyes? Whose eyes? Um, Watching Bumble play Mario reminded me of you playing League. You guys are way too good. What? I'm the best gamer girl. So proceeds to fall. That sounds like me. Bumble and I are one in the same, to be honest. When it comes to that. Okay. We're ready for this one. Oh, gosh. Wait, what was this? Down here. <laughs> Um, Rude! <laughs> Bone is definitely one of the goats. Yes! I'm dead! What do you mean you're dead? I don't understand. Look at those eyes. You're dead? Like cross eyed? Okay, we're gonna listen to this one. I used to play World of Warcraft with dungeons and stuff. Yeah. 
I used to play World of Warcraft with dungeons and stuff. Same. Her eyes are kind of shifty. <laughs> are you sure you used to play World of Warcraft? Hello, I don't know why that's even a clip. Okay, Shu, are you finally ready to watch the one that you want to watch so bad? I made it the last one because you kept giving me only the same one. Uh, I mean, wow. Shifty. I'm the best wow player NA. Sure. Can you prove it, Paul? I used to play also. I used to play as well. Moans! Threatening her life, ring the wedding bells. Let's just say moans. Wait a minute. What, what is this Kimmy's real name? Huh? Uh, oh yeah. You know, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. Why is my name all in here? What is this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna let it keep playing. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Oh yeah. She wanted to rage you by having everyone say oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> This was right before oh, we raided you. Oh, yeah. I'm nervous at the moment. Why are you no, nervous? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna follow oh, Bumble yeah. now. Yes, Miyoshi, follow Bumble. If anyone's not following Bumble, you should follow Bumble now. <laughs> Make it a sound alert, Redeem. Uh, Bend oh, Bumble yeah. should do that since it was on her stream. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bumble, thank you so much for the raid. You can hear her hair here. What do you mean? Clipped. Oh, gosh. Bumble scares me. No. You can't be scared of this beautiful thing right here. What are you talking about? Oh, my goodness. You guys are funny. <laughs> Kimmy is doing it right now. Doing what? What am I doing? I don't know. I'm so confused. Oh, yeah? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the oh, yeah was wild. <laughs> um, You guys are so funny. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, no, I'm not saying that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to clip that. Moan, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, oh no. Okay, we got another clip. We got another clip. Um, she said daddy after two, but it, it got clipped. Then why didn't you send that one? You didn't send that one? So we could embarrass her more. I'm just kidding. Um, where did I do that one? That was in this one. Here we go. Same. Good night, guys. Going to bed for now. See you guys randomly. Sounds good, Miyoshi. Have a wonderful night. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is that laugh I do? <laughs> Anyways. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks, Bumble, for the raid. Welcome, everybody, from Bumble stream. Um, we don't really have that much left on this emote. But I want you guys to throw out your favorite colors. Um, and we're going to add those colors into this uh, this emote. Green! Okay. We'll throw green in there. Any other favorite? Spaghetti! Spaghetti is not a color. Um... Bum, bum, bum. We have to continue this until it's a clip of a thousand people doing the hoya together. Sounds good to me. I like purple, blue, yellow. Okay, so we got green, purple, blue, yellow, 
I was thinking the same thing. Oh no. Oh no, what? Okay. So we have this that that got that getting clipped. Kimmy, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Go ahead and raid and run. I'll see you on Sunday. Yay! Oh yeah. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um. Okay. So I think. No, we still have a couple more things to do before we get to the colors. But you guys gotta throw more colors at me. That way I know what colors to add in here. Okay, this is gonna be kind of hard to do, I think. Maybe not. Because we're not gonna- it's not gonna go anywhere other than where I put it. Um... Oh ho ho, how about teal? Teal, I like teal, okie dokie. Add yes? Add yes, will someone order me a pizza? Ooh woo. Um... Puce? The color puce? Puce. Huh? Stefan? What does that even mean? You trying to tell him to order? I've recommended like five colors by now, but I'm gonna add fuchsia. Okay. So we've got teal, that's two Paul only. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, anyways. Um, where am I doing this? This one. We need a little bit more. I'm gonna have to scroll up a little later to remember which colors, but we're gonna do this. And then... Um... We also need... Like this light color. I guess white would be what we need. Cause it's... Yeah, okay. Um. <clears throat> ah! Yeah, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's doing what we need and or, and or want to do. And Gaussian blur. So we can blur that. And then um, we need Gaussian blur on this one. There. Okay. So. Oh, and then before we do that. We're going to. Why can't I draw on this? Hold on. I can draw on this one though. And then here. Yeah. Okay, there, and then I need this color. Fill that in, and then in here. Perfect. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate this so we leave it as just one um but now i'm gonna combine all these um delete 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 except notes we'll keep notes um She's naked. Uh, dodge roll, dodge roll. Will you draw Stefan? I could. Actually, that was something I was thinking about doing. Was maybe making um either like a redeem for channel points or just making it a whole stream. 
Where if you guys send me a black and white picture, I'll try to draw it. Like as close to accurately as possible. Daddy Stefan. Uh, flatten. Okay. So now what we're gonna do... Ah! Is we're going to take... We're gonna make this animated. We're gonna take these as, like, different backgrounds. Um... We're gonna duplicate this... A few times. No, sorry. I want to duplicate this layer. Um, and then this layer will go with this one. This one will go with this one. Um, how would you even draw Stefan like that? <laughs> and like this. There we go. Okay. So, <clears throat> we said we were gonna do... Green was one of them. I'm gonna do green. Should I do like... Should I do like the same kind of green that Bumble's name is? I don't know if I can get that same green though. Just draw Stefan, the daddy is built in it. <laughs> daddy Stefan. Um, okay. Ah! What do I, I need to like fix this. It's not perfect. There we go. Okay. And then, uh, then we got purple, blue, and yellow. So we'll do purple. And then blue. What color blue? I feel like maybe it should be like some kind of like neon-y, neon -y kind of blue. Um, boop. And then yellow. Okay. Well, one of teal was one of the color. What is poop? Puce? Puce? I don't know what puce is. Puce. Oh, it's like a pink. Mm. Like pink-ish, sort of. Like that. And we'll do it. Loop. Okay. But now, this note... Um, we're gonna put here, and we're gonna put one here. And here. And here. And there, like that. I think if I get rid of... Wait a minute, what did that do? I don't know. I don't know what... Oh, I think that duplicated. Okay, I don't think I can um, get rid of that. If I do animation assist... On canvas... Okay. But I need to fix this. 
And this one. Okay. Stop. I need I need to fix this. Ah I don't I want it this one. Okay, sorry. I'm like learning how to do this in animation assist. This one. Okay, there we go. This one. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Okay, there we go, there we go. So now, um, I'm, all right, I'm off. Good night, everyone. Good night, Marcos. Uh, like a sort of molted pink. What are colors becoming music notes? The background. Uh, ding, ding, ding. <gasps> Gasp, a witch. Hello, woo, woo. Creeper, how are you doing? It's a witch. Um, I need one more color. We have green, pink, blue, yellow. I need another color. Um, I do want to flip this. How, do I, how am I going to flip this? I think I need to do... Hmm... Flip horizontal, yeah. And then the music notes should also flip horizontal. No, gosh, not like that. They just need to go over here. Okay. My blood sugar is a bit high, but okay, no brown how am i i'm doing good i'm doing good we're just chilling we played dots home earlier now we're making this animated emote we're trying um why would you want to make it brown okay too fast. Um, did you not see that South Park episode back in the day? No. We'll be back. Must study. Okie dokie. I hope you study well. She is too wholesome for that. I mean, I've watched South Park, but I don't remember. I'm not really good at remembering things. <laughs> you guys should know this. <laughs> um, the brown it was a sound that was played when people made a... Oh, gosh. Um, okay. I need to remember, like, how this emote was. Mmm... Let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. Um, bum bum, bum bum bum. Um, do, do, do. you need some member berries, <laughs> like memory berries, but member berries. Um, okay, so I know I need to find this specific emote if I can. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can find it. No, I can't. No! Another cartoon reference, which is surprising, given I rarely watch them. What is the- what cartoon is it? I want to see the emotes. So I can- okay, hold on. I think I know another way I can see this emote I'm trying to kind of, like, reference. 
Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, we go here, and then we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna look over here. Mm, here it is. Okay. I'm trying to like interesting. I wonder how. Okay. Uh, oh, it's still South South Park, so both of them are South Park. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna duplicate the whole group. No, hold on. Ah, delete. I want the whole entire group duplicated. No. Can I not, like... Select multiple? How do I select multiple? Hmm. I think I'd have to, like, collapse it. Combine down. But I guess it doesn't matter. I could combine down, right? No. Mmm, this might be a tricky. Can't wait to rave the night away. I thought it was Rick and Morty. I had to look it up. What, the member berry one? Okay. I thought that there was a way to, like... Interesting. Okay. Wait a minute. Is this not a, in its own group? I'm so confused. I guess it wasn't. Oh gosh. That's not what I want. Okay. But we're gonna bring this up. Okay, maybe that's why it was being weird. So now I should be able to duplicate this, I think. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got it. We figured it out. We're learning! Okay, so now... Interesting. I wish I could slow this down. I think what's happening is that the colors are changing. Okay, this one would go to yellow. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this color and then I'm gonna like slowly kind of do that and then we'll change that. And then this one, we'll take this color and then kind of slowly drift it there. Ah! What did I do? No! Okay, hold on. This color, and then we slowly drift it. That's- oh gosh, oh gosh. There, like this. Yeah, okay. I don't know how we're gonna transition, like, pink. Yellow from pink. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay. And then... Maybe like a little bit of orange or something. Um, that should work, I think. Okay, and then... We're gonna make this a rockin' emo. I don't know how, but we'll do our best. We'll do like a light purple. There's blue. 
and then we'll do like maybe like this color But then we have a random one somewhere, I think. Is it this one? Can I get rid of this one and it not delete like everything? Okay, okay, okay. Almost, we're almost there. We are almost there. Um, I can't wait to rate. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's all the same stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is how do I do this correctly? So every second one, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to like shift it down like a little bit. And then we're going to take this. No. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna shift it down a little bit. So then we'll go to the second one here. We're gonna take this one and we're gonna shift it down a little bit. And then we'll take the notes, maybe make them a little bigger, but then we'll shift them down a little bit. And then we'll go to this one we need another set we need a copy like this one duplicate and then we need to move it um like at the bottom i think oh god what is happening Hold on. I don't know what I did. Um. So we have two. It's the orange one. The orange one's got two. We're gonna do this. This is taking like my brain power <laughs> to do this. Okay. And then we'll duplicate again. Um, okay, so we've got blue. Um, we'll do like maybe red. And then this one we'll do like Another, like, maybe hot pinkish or something. I don't know. Maybe. Like, this kind of green or something. It might be a little crazy. Because it kind of looks like it goes together, but then it's, like, a little random. No, I think I need to change this. To something more close to this color okay 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 we're we're making progress so now this one so this one is down up down up now this one needs to go down And then this also needs to go down. And then 
up, down. And then this one down. Ah! Up, down. Ah! Come on, I need this. Up, then this one goes down. No, not the whole thing. Just this. And then this. Like that. Bim, hello! Thank you, Speed Junkie! Hello, Kimmy! Hello, chat! Hello, Bim! We're making an animated emote. Um... Do I think I need... To maybe reverse it. Mm. I don't know. Yoshi grooving. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. What do you guys think? You like it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm kind of looking at like my reference. The reference looks better, <laughs> but it because I think it's just like the way that the col the background colors blend better with the in the reference. This one is just kind of like random. But I think it's still okay. Should I change the music note colors or should those stay black? I kind of feel like they don't pop very much. But what would I change them to? Um, if I look at the color wheel, what's opposite of pink? Green? What if I change them to like the opposite color of what they were? Or like the background color? Hmm, that might like blend in too much. I feel like maybe black is better. Should this be the speed of it? It's cute. Hmm. Can I reverse it though? I don't think so. What is ping pong? <gasps> Ooh, I like that so much better. The ping pong. Heck yeah. I think I like that. Okay. We did it, folks! I think we did it. Yay! Um, do, do, do. yay! I'm excited. We did it. Hype! Um, I think that's gonna be it for me tonight. Oh god, it's already 11. <laughs> like, I don't feel like we did a whole lot because that Dots home game was kind of like short, I feel like. Um, and then I only did this one emote but animated emotes like take a lot for my brain because I have to think about how I want it to move and <laughs> stuff like that um 
But that one was a good one. I, I started on that one off stream. But never got to finish it. Um, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna raid out, um, let's see here. Because I don't know if I am Elden Ring ready. What is tonight? It's Thursday, right? Tomorrow is Undertale. Um, so tomorrow's supposed to be Undertale. Uh, we did have a pick a game for me redeemed by Legend of Zelda. Legend of Jesus. It was not Legend of Zelda. Legend of Jesus. I think I got stuff in my hair. Anyways. Um, and that was Dynasty Warriors 3. So we're going to try to figure out how to do Dynasty Warriors 3 also, I think. Um, so that way we can... I have to figure out how to fix my PlayStation for that, though. Because um, it's on PlayStation 2. Um, but, either way... Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Man, hello! Bleep, blap, bloop. That's a cool TV table on the couch. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. It's called a C table because it goes like underneath there, too. Um, it's shaped like a C, basically. Uh, but yeah, you can, I don't know where you can, I mean, I know where you can find, oh, I see. <laughs> uh, let's see. I never spell this game correctly. <laughs> Min, how are you doing? I know you kind of like came in earlier. Right? Yeah, you did. I learned about those tables roughly five months ago from Kimmy. Still haven't gotten one. Did you want one? Um, geez, this game has a lot of things. A lot of people interested in it. Uh, good. Just worked on my vidis. Nice. How are they coming along? Did you finish them? Mm. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and try to maybe find somebody new today. Does anybody have a suggestion on, on someone to raid? No, I'm getting so close though, so I decided to move forward. Oh, you're just gonna like, wait, move forward. Like you're just gonna go ahead and uh, ship it or you're gonna, or you're moving on to a different project and putting it to the side. Um, man, my I'm tired. Suggestions are. Do you have a suggestion on someone to raid? Hey, Carista. Boop, boop, boop. What do we got here? Ooh, you want to see Life is Strange 2? Or we've got... Detroit Become Human. Isn't that a newer game that's come out? <laughs> oh no! Playing Zelda, ooh, perfect. That sounds wonderful. We got a lot of Zelda lovers. Mm, but they might be ending, I can't tell what's happening. Cafe opens in one minute and six. Interesting.
It looks like, uh... Yeah, I can't tell what's happening either. Will it open soon? <laughs> yeah, but they've been streaming for four hours. That's crazy. Um, well... Let's go ahead and, um, head on off to Hey Krista. Because Life, Life is Strange is one that I've wanted to... Yeah, that's why it's confusing me, so I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I just uh, appreciate the, the suggestions. Um... If you wouldn't mind copying the raid message, we're gonna go ahead and raid Hey Krista. Cause yeah, um, Life is Strange is one of the games I have on my list to to play at some point. Might not be for a little while, but um, we'll head on over there. Thank you guys so much for hanging out on this wonderful leap day. Um, and the last day of Black History Month for this year. Krista will appreciate it so much. Yay! Thank you, thank you, Leo Kai, for the <laughs> the modified and raid message that will one day fix. Um, if you could copy the one that Leo Kai has, that would be great. If you um, are not following, then the Nightbot raid message would be perfect. One day, yeah, one day, right? Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out for Dots Dots Home and a little bit of the art art emo. We'll get that. I'll get that one uploaded um, so we can start using it soon. Uh, tomorrow, Undertale and maybe some Dynasty Warriors if I can figure out my PlayStation 2. I'll see you guys uh, next time. Love you guys so much. Bye. Bye bye.